recorded this. We're going to get started. Sol- we'll let people in in a minute. You're in Salinas. Too. Yeah, I know. Okay, so <laughs> uh, the rooms are going to look a little lean at the moment, but don't panic. We have a lot more people who are going to be joining in, the, and we'll just beef you guys up whenever they go. So, uh, Alex, uh, just follow along. They will explain. I'm putting Perfect. you in with um, Alan. All Mr. right. Steiner. <laughs> What? Mr. Steiner, Steiner, yes. Mr. Steiner. What? Am I supposed to explain? No, well, you'll you're taking you're going to put him in your room, so. Oh, I, oh, is, is, is he lucky or what? Okay. <laughs> you're not going to use Where's the traditional. The go to your room. Go to your rooms. Come back nice. Be nice. Now, why would it be? Romero, they're going to the rooms. For a split second, your duck video pops up there, Susan. The decoy. The decoy. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. My wife thought of that. I said, yeah, I, I wonder if Susan realized that. No, I sure didn't. Hi, Jane. Hello. Bob, where's your chicken? Right here. Right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. I have, to, I have to. Okay. There are both of them. That's the pair. Oh, there's two. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, the pullet and the rooster. The pullet is almost the hen. She should start laying any day now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't let her lay on your head. <laughs> chicken A and chicken B. Hey, Susan. That's the first time that's happened. I, I came in and I got immediately bounced to the breakout room. Uh, so. You guys started oh, a little you earlier as you, than you. As you entered? No, I was on it this yeah. week. Hi, Caspian. Yeah, so my question is, am I doing a category? Because I thought I was. Yes, you are really number one. Oh, okay. Hi, Mono. Look at Hello. that background. Let's see what he's doing it on. Yeah, everybody look at Rob's background. It always gives a hint. Oh, that's a state flag, I think. No, yeah. I don't know. Is it? There's a horse up there. Um, a horse, of course. It's Mr. Ed. Call it it's it's Mr. Ed. Oh, Hi, Gail. If we Hi, keep Kelly. Thing, we might be giving out clues, so let's just keep it all. Yeah, right. yeah. But nobody's going to Google it yet. Hi, Kelly. Family crest. We'll be doing on the yes. right. Daniel Boone on the left. Tattoos. Fun with flags. Where have I heard that before? Oh, no. yeah. It's the category is yellow. <laughs> women who stand yeah. very tall. Very straight women with <laughs> horses. What? Lady Godiva. <laughs> oh, Jack Horseman. <laughs> <laughs> so I told you the rooms would fill up here. Very good. Where's Vanessa? Uh, well, I'm here. Uh, I, here. I look like a, I'm a monster. Okay, don't don't be a monster. <laughs> I, uh, I have my, okay. my deviated septum fixed. Oh, oh. oh. You, can also put, you can put a filter on. You can put one of those hats with a, with a, you know. Yeah, I have to learn how to do that. Uh, how to put like the glasses on the big heavy glasses. <laughs> well, you can do that. Yeah, those work really well. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to get started. This is going to be good. We've got uh, a pretty a full crowd here. To, this is game number sixty-seven, sesenta siete, on the nineteenth of August to. 2021 or 2021, I think as Leonard loves to have it said. And uh, we're leading off with Rob. Rob, you're ready, right? I'm ready. And Do you want Peggy. to get room names? Hmm? Do you want, yeah, want the team names? Yeah. Peggy, you're up next. Oh, am I too? You're up second. Unless you want me to trade you. Well, Aaron. I'm just in room three, so I got confused. Okay, Aaron, you're up third. You set? I'm ready. Okay. I hope we don't have to name football teams or anything like that. <laughs> oh, that's in mine, actually. Oh, shush. Eric, uh, Adrian, you're up four. I thought I was doing one tonight. 
Nope. You are first up next week. Okay. Caspian, I have you on bonus. Are you ready? He's ready. Everybody's ready. So let's get to those names. I, I mm -hmm. love I love this part. So playing game number uh, room number one, which will no longer be called room number one. And of course, unless you name yourself room number one, is Alan. Alex, welcome to Alex, brand new player tonight. Saunders, Rob, and Mono. Who are you guys playing tonight? Speak softly and carry a big mic. <laughs> I knew the microphone's yeah. coming to it. Did I not say so? I did say so. And anybody watching it will know I said so. So put that in the chat so I know how you want it spelled. Because I can't spell. We all know that I can't spell. <laughs> We've come to that. We know. I'm going to move the chat. So now I've got the same problem. It's all right. I understand. Well, you're, you're trying to spell in Australian, which makes it much more difficult. Uh -huh. You know, that's crazy. All right. Who's putting it in the chat? I, I well, it's am. Really, it's right. really hard to write up so when you're upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Need that NASA space pen. Yes. Room number two. Room number two. Room number two is Ben, Carl, Leonard, Mike, and Kill. Who are you guys tonight? We are the Cardinal Sinners. And they put their name uh, up there before Richard can get his type. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to type it. It's very small here. <laughs> what well, comes from far away? The TARDIS. Ah. Okay. Keep going. I'll get it there in a second. No worries. Room number two. There they are. All right. So, <sighs> chap just, just goes away. What are you doing? It's there. And then I click on something else and chat completely disappears. It's not me. Aaron, Kelly, Kevin, and Peggy. Who are you? Oh, there they are. The Carmel, Tardis, Red Bull Socks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are fun. Okay, here we go. And then room number, oops, there's, there's speak softly and carry a big mic. All right, fantastic. Not a big mic, but a big mic. You could do a lot of damage with a big mic, trust me. Oh, yes. Beautiful sounds. That's what my listeners tell me every week. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so room hey, number Big four. mic is what we call my uncle. Big mic. <laughs> hey, we have Mike here. Mike's down here with the cool shades. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be plugged in. <laughs> Mike, are you plugged in? He's trying to see. <laughs> he's looking to see if he's plugged in. No, he's not plugged in. Adrian, Bob, Jane, Janine, and Robin. Who are you playing as tonight? We wanted to do something birdie. Uh, and we were thinking of a murder of crows, but we called it a murder of trivialists. <laughs> That's very good. Murder of Trivialist. Triv Trivial. Trivial. Yeah. You know, when you make it up the word. Yeah, yeah we figured you couldn't one. say it. <laughs> we got the hard to pronounce factor too. So there you go. Last but not least, we have Caspian, Jamie, Romero, Faith, and Vanessa. Who are you? Who are we? Who are we? Is that what's on second kind of question? Oh, we, who are we? <laughs> Who are we? Who? Hunted, huh? who are we? Who, 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 who? <laughs> Tell me who are you? All right. So we're going to start. Hmm? So we're going to start off with uh, Robert Palmer today. Um, hopefully it doesn't have anything to do with Robert. Well, I don't know, maybe. So do I have the uh, powers? No, I don't yet. You do now. Um, there we go. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. So, okay. So, make sure that it, well, before I get started, let me say that um, I hope everybody's given Alex the directions. Don't shout anything out, discuss it in your room, blah, blah, blah. And don't be offended if people attack me because I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. I'll just <laughs> knock them. All right. Freak sounds good. <laughs> and and everything is going to show up in the Zoom chat. So, you don't yeah. actually have to write anything down. Yeah, everything comes in the Zoom chat. And because I'm the host and I'm recording, then that means that it records the main screen wherever I'm at. And I am playing on the team of whoever is reading the category. That's how it works. So, I, so wherever I appear in the breakout room to try to help you, which is usually not much help it'll be recording. And then this recording will be put up probably tonight and then you can watch. And it's really kind of fun to watch all you guys dittering about. Okay. You get four losses and a win every week. 
Go for it, Rob. Okay, so as some people speculated uh, about my background, uh, yes, that is the New Jersey state flag, and this is New Jersey facts. We have done many states, and this is where I call home. Oh, we haven't done New Jersey. That's right. We haven't done New Jersey. Kelly? I don't have powers. Do. Oh, I do have powers now. All right, muting everybody in three, two, one. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. 10 questions all about New Jersey. And I tried to mix it up. History, current stuff, science. We'll see. First, what is the state's nickname? Number two, what is its capital? Number three, New Jersey ranks 11th in US population of the 50 states with over 9 million people. But what is its population density ranking? And I did multiple choice here. In any case, it's on the high side. Oh joy, driving around here. Question number four, Name the cryptid that since 1735 is said to inhabit the Pine Barrens of South Jersey. Question number five. The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. We got a notice that someone entered the waiting room. Susan, do you see it? I let him in already. Okay. Uh, the War of the Worlds by H.T. Wells was adapted as a radio play and broadcast by Orson Welles in 1938. One of the major plot changes from the book was the location of the landing of the first Martian cylinder, which was changed from just outside the British capital to somewhere in New Jersey. The play was broadcast in the style of the current pre-war bulletins, causing some degree of panic in people across America, particularly in New Jersey, thinking they were listening to news of an actual extraterrestrial invasion. I'm going to play a little bit of that for you. Placing our faith in God, we must continue the performance of our duties, each and every one of us, so that we may confront this destructive adversary with a nation united, courageous, and consecrated to the preservation of human supremacy on this earth. I thank you. Can I hear you have just heard the Secretary of the Interior speaking from Washington. Bulletins too numerous to read are piling up in the studio here. We're informed that the central portion of New Jersey is blacked out from radio communication due to the effect of the heat ray upon power lines and electrical equipment. And it went on. So can I hear that via Siri? It makes more sense that way. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving you multiple choice. Where did the invasion happen? Freehold, Grover's Mill, Maple Shade, New London, Princeton, or Trenton? And I got a feeling uh, Aaron might have a little bit of an advantage there. She was she there? Was on, I wish she was on my <laughs> team. Well, he's in New Jersey. Aaron, do, do, do you remember this? I think, oh, look who's arrived. Isabella. Question number six. Name the Ivy League University in New Jersey. Question number seven. Jersey City has an interactive science museum, which opened in 1993, and it houses what is claimed to be the largest and most technologically advanced planetarium in the Western Hemisphere. I don't know if Leonard would disagree with that. This planetarium is the Jennifer Chelsea Planetarium, which opened in 2017. I want you to name the museum housing the planetarium. Which I have visited about three times. Question number eight. Once upon a time, there was a spacecraft manufacturing complex in a remote area of central New Jersey, surrounded by farmland, various called blank astro electronics or blank astrospace. I've redacted the company name there. For decades, it designed, built, and tested spacecraft, commercial, government, and military, and employed around 5,000 people, including me, and was for a time the preeminent U.S. facility of this type. It built the world's first weather satellite, which was launched in 1960. And in 1986, one of its engineers, Bob Senker, even flew aboard the space shuttle on the mission preceding the Challenger disaster. 
The company that owned Astrospace was the dominant electronics and communication firm in the United States for five decades. But due to corporate acquisitions and divestitures, today it sadly exists only as a brand name, name of this historic company. Question number nine, short one. Three New York major league teams actually play their home games, the Bastards, in New Jersey, and yet they're named New York. Name one. Question number 10. That's various sports, right? Yep. Okay. Question number 10, a little bit of history. On the night of December 25th to 26th, 1776, the Continental Army under George Washington crossed the Delaware River and surprised and defeated Hessian troops. Almost two thirds of the enemy force was captured with negligible loss to the Americans. The battle significantly boosted the Continental Army's waning morale and inspired reenlistments. Name this pivotal engagement of America's war for independence. And there you go. Very good. Hello, Kyle. Hello, Isabella. Hey, hey. Isabella, it's so Hi. good to see you. You're in your new dorm room. Unfortunately. Oh, I thought you were going to movie night. Um, I've been having roommate issues, so. Ooh, I, college 101. I've been dealing with a lot today, so. Oh, well, we'll roommate issues there. already? You've only been there a day. Yeah. She got there Monday. We're here to she, cheer her like, up. So I'm going to start crying. Sorry. Um, it's been an emotional day. Remember, this is so, going to be on YouTube, Isabella, just in case. It's okay. Hey, so, it's, Isabella, meet Alex. Uh, you guys, okay. <laughs> both are two college students here. <laughs> yeah. So basically she, uh, she showed up at like four in the morning to my dorm room last this morning, like drunk. And it like freaked me out. And then she was like rummaging through my stuff. She took one of my water bottles, poured it with vodka in it without asking me. So I talked to my RA, I'm trying to switch rooms, but it's in a bit of a mess all day. So I thought I'd join and Please. hopefully make me feel better. Yes, well, that's our goal. Wow. Okay, you guys, Yeah. cheer up Isabella, <sighs> team name. You know, well, it from one college student to another, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's she told me she's bad at reading reading social cues, even though I told her very clearly that what my like boundaries were. So I don't know really what else. Don't show up at four in the morning <laughs> drinking and keep, keep notes. This yeah. might make a good screenplay. <laughs> and I know. So I'm it's a very a good right now. <laughs> we'll try to distract you, Isabella. I appreciate it. Okay. It's so not, the first category is New maybe. Jersey. Do we have the same New Jersey? We're ready to go. New Jersey. Joy okay, here we go. Getting some coffee. 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 <laughs> and I'm also what making you a co host, Isabella, so you can help out Kelly there. So here we go. Sounds good. That'll keep your mind on something. All right, here we go. Have fun, you guys. Wear your mask because you can't trust that the person. No, I don't know. That didn't make any sense at all. Have a great time. Enjoy Susan, which room am I joining? Yeah, I'll put you in right now. It Thank will give you. me your, and Kyle too, I gotta give you your little rooms. Isabella going to, ooh, the Cardinal Sinners. And Kyle, you are going to Carmel Tardis Red Bull Sox, whatever that means. And I guess I gotta go to my room too, huh? Aww. That's so sad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Not a bad idea. All right. Uh, Hi, Susan uh, Gerbig from Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia. That's me. Hi. Team. So you can help them with the New Jersey question, Susan? Yes. Go away. I know it, of course. <laughs> go away. All right. State's nickname is Garden State. Yeah. Right? Yep. Uh, it's capital. Is it Trenton? Uh, um, I was trying to, I, I, I'm thinking... It, it, I think it is Trenton. Okay. Three. 
New Jersey ranks 11th in the US population of the 50 states with over 9 million. What is its population density? Well, it wouldn't be well, first. It'd be pretty high, wouldn't it? Because it's a little tiny place. It, well, it's it's not that small, but the thing is, the I, I think the population tends to be clustered in small areas. There's a lot of rural um, area. Really? Okay. Um, so should we say three as a guess? For the moment, I would think it's somewhere. Uh, yeah, here. maybe. Here, let me share my screen. I think this should work now. There we go. Can we see? There you go. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so this is basically what I'm writing in. Yep. You have mm -hmm. 493 inboxes. Oh, <laughs> oh no! God. I should close this. <laughs> Not important. Six thousand logic. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can you make it logic? So. Font? Uh, oh yeah, actually, good idea. Here, let me. So for the density question, I actually put number one because I remember reading a statistic a few weeks ago, um, uh, reading uh, per capita, which states have the most amount of COVID deaths, again, per capita. So I would assume that uh, it's, a, I guess, a pattern that the more dense your state is, the more uh, COVID deaths mm. per capita you would have. Just as a pattern, not you know, not necessarily one hundred percent. But uh, I, I remember specifically, New Jersey was ranked number one, so that's why I initially guessed one. However, you might have more uh, knowledge in regard to the geography of the state than I would. I got um, a speeding ticket in New Jersey once. That's the only time I've been there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you had Good a speeding experience. ticket? <laughs> yeah, in New Jersey. <laughs> Uh, so. Well, look, I, I would simply be guessing myself. I wait, wait, wait. That Who put the Yankees? Thing. Who put the New York Yankees? <laughs> that's my guess. I have no off. idea. Take that off. All the, right. New York, it's the New York Giants if you can do anything. New York. All right. I'll write that. <laughs> I agree. I think it's the Giants. It's definitely one. Yeah. That, and the, that at was the middle, my the, desperate the guess. Metal, the Meadowlands. <laughs> and uh, number four is the Jersey Devil. Yes. Jer okay. Jer, how do you say Jer? Jer. Oh, that's, oh, is that Just why go. the hockey team's called the uh, the Devils? Yeah, the Devils. that's a, that's an Devils, old uh, 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 Alex game. Devil. Yeah, at the end, Devil. Devils. E -E no, no double, just Devils. But the, but they no, quite, no, the answer no. to the question is the, the answer Jersey is Jersey Devils. Jersey Devils. Devils. Jersey Devils with plural. Okay. Well, no, 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 singular, oh, no, no, singular. no doubles. Devils only Devils. Jersey Devils. Got it. Okay, no, that's the name Devil. of the team. The, the name of the cryptid is the Jersey Devil. Take out the word double. Oh, you're right. So probably single, a <laughs> uh, singular. So, for no, double, so what's the answer for number four? Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil. Okay. Singular. Jersey Devil. Okay. Number five. War of the Worlds. Uh, so I was on the phone when he was read this out, unfortunately. So I didn't hear him reading it. So oh, right what's now. the question? Yeah, hang on. Oh, I want to. I got I got to I, I want to see the choices because one looked. One jumped out. Uh, what number is that? Five. Number. I was number thinking five. Grover, Grover's Mill. Gro Grover's, Grover's Mill is a place in the radio play of War of the Worlds. By yeah, because that, that Orson jumped. Wells. Yeah, I think okay. that, that jumped. But out. I, but I can't see the question. Uh, uh, I think I'd have to stop sharing my screen so you can see the chat. Actually, no, 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 I, I, no, no, no. I can see the chat perfectly. Well, oh, can you? Okay. It and, I, and I cannot see a question. Hmm. What, what did he ask the question was? On the night of December, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's the wrong one. What number are we on? Um, five. Five. Five, five, five. I'll read it to you. I'm just trying to find it here. Um, uh, the War of the Worlds <laughs> by uh, Wells uh, adapted radio play and broadcast towards them. Well, one of the major plot changes from the book was the location of the landing of the first Martian cylinder. Which was, okay, so that's it. Can read right, it. He just didn't word that very well. Yeah, so the question the, the was, question what is the place? Richard is implicit. The first yes. question is implicit. Now, now, now I understand. And Grosvenor's Mill, from my memory, was just a place map on place they saw on a map, and they said, we'll use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I what I that's, I think that's right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what did we have for number three? Did we decide on, are we going to uh, go with one? That. Yeah, we just skipped over it. Or the options well, it was one, was it which is okay. one, two, three, four? Or? That's fine because what we do, we sometimes we'll skip over and, and just concentrate on the ones we can get, then spend more time um, going over the ones. I'm going to bold the ones that we're confident uh, in. So Garden State is good, bold, Trenton, yeah. bold, um, Jersey Devil. Devil. Should I bold this one? Yeah. 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 yeah okay. That's definitely right. Rover's Mill. Rover's Mill. That's a confident Okay. We're okay. Up to number six. Princeton uh, is correct. Princeton. Yeah. Princeton, I filled in. 
as a college student, this was something I was researching. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's correct. Anyway. Okay, 99% seven. Sure. <laughs> uh, the Jersey City has an interactive science museum, which opened in 1993, and it houses what is claimed to be the largest and most technologically advanced planetarium in the world. Well, that's a big claim. Uh, the planetarium is the Jennifer Chesley, is that? Planetarium, which opened in 2017. Name the museum housing the planetarium. Mm. Not a clue. How about the New Jersey Planetarium? Or the Jersey City Planetarium? Or how about the Jersey Devil well, no, Planetarium? No, they want, they, want the they want the museum in which you can find the planetarium. Hmm. Well, what's a big what's what's a major museum in New Jersey? Come on, <laughs> I don't know. I've never I've never been to New Jersey. I've been to New York, but not New Jersey. Museum. What are museums in general called? <laughs> we museum of Jersey? Jersey. Oh heavens! Anything. Okay, let's go back to that. Since we don't know, we'll just <laughs> go, we'll go back to that. We'll skip it. <laughs> Number nine, three New York major league teams. I wouldn't have yep. a clue about this. Number yeah, eight. Oh, sorry, eight, number, number eight. eight. I beg mm -hmm. your pardon, number eight. I think number eight is TRW. Just TRW. The three -W? letters is TRW. That was a, a okay. big aerospace company. I, I remember because they had a, a major campus in Cleveland also, which shut down. And you never hear of TRW anymore, but at one time it was huge. <laughs> All right. Unless somebody uh, has a better that. idea. Uh, unless somebody has a better idea. No, I wouldn't. Have. If, if you think that's that's good enough for me at the moment, because yeah. I have, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> number nine, I wouldn't be able to help you with. And, and uh, well, I would, I would go. I, do the, I know the Giants. It's the Giants. It's the Giants. Okay. Yeah. Not the Yankees. No. Well, it could be the Yankees. The, Bronx. the Yankees are in the Bronx in New York. <laughs> they, that's new. But there's also a basketball team, right? One basketball team. But I'm oh, sure. Well, the New Jersey Nets, but they're the New Jersey Nets. They're yep. uh, unless they change them to the New York Nets, but I don't think so. But I think uh, I am with Alan. I think Gi Giants is a definite yes. Yeah, and he only wants one, and yeah. so that's my. We'll bold it. All hey, right. Number number, number ten. ten. This is the crossing of the Delaware, which was the. I've probably heard of this battle, but as soon as you say it, out. I'll know it. Name this. Was, yeah, it, yeah, was yeah. there a battle of this of Staten Island? I don't think that's it. No, because it doesn't I don't bring recall a that being a name. What? Huh? <laughs> that was quick. Okay. That was quick. I didn't touch it. Hey, you know what? This means everyone else has less time too. So. Yeah, they'll Number probably all freak out. Is, Everyone's um, going to complain. You wait. It was across the Delaware River. It was. Um, and I, I've read, I've read this so many times, and I always forget. I can't. I, I don't know. I again, I, I would have heard it. Photo of him standing in the boat is her crossing. It's no life vests. I mean, they were brave. <laughs> I know. Huh. I can't even think of what it was, and he was standing the whole way. That'd make a funny sketch, wouldn't it? Let's cross the river, man. Are you wearing your vest, sir? Huh? Yeah. Well, we got the occupational health and safety officer and, here. And do you have change? Do you have any coins in your pocket while we're at it? <laughs> I cannot think of what this is. It's bugging me. Um, Look, we're going to have to go back to the big room and see what the hell's going on. Hey, real quick, any any minutes. finale here for the number three? Any other guests? Should we just I go think with one? We'll, I think we'll be... Was that 10 minutes? I ten didn't min push any buttons, Rob. 10 me. minutes? Is that what we usually get? I don't know what yeah. they do usually. Where'd 10 minutes come from? I, I would think that would be a rule of thumb because no. it seemed to go pretty quick. Don't need a rule of thumb. We need enough time. <laughs> I've never had a clock ticking to know. Oh, I yeah, thought you, were, tell you, you, you had a big timer there, Susan, with 10 minutes nope. ticking. Mm -hmm. We should go time. back to all of the we should go back to all the YouTubes and time <laughs> and time them all. And Why see. do you have a mask on, Leonard? The, the rule of thumb is after 10 minutes. You said everyone wear your masks. <laughs> oh. You did. I'm just following your directions, Susan. But you're the only one I see. May, may I, I take my mask off You can't make us follow your now? mask mandate, Susan. We have freedoms. <laughs> may, may I take, um, to play may I take off my mask, Susan? Yeah, I think you probably should. All right. Because we can't see your special. Hi, Jim. Hi, Deborah. Hello. Woohoo. 
Okay. okay we, we ready for the answers. As long as they're not done in. in so my team, we're going to go with. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you got there, Alex, is fine. Whatever you had, Alex, that for question three, I've written. I'm yes. really, I'm really <laughs> mad at number ten. Without gi without giving things away. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so the first and most easy, I would believe, number one is the Garden State. Do you have a garden, Rob? And that's and that's not ironic, right? That is correct. Yeah, it is, it is actually unfortunate that most people who have an impression of New Jersey just because it's so crowded is from Manhattan and because Jersey is across the river, but that's a tiny, tiny portion of New Jersey. So it's not a good Manhattan representation of the state. What exit? No, the part across the river of New Jersey from Manhattan is not representative of the whole state is what I'm saying. But Manhattan is in New Jersey, is it? I thought oh Manhattan my God. was in New York. Where do you live? What exit? I drove if you're in Manhattan, you're looking across at New Jersey and what you see doesn't represent ah, I more see. than you know, more than even 10% of New Jersey. Yeah, I drove through a matter. corner of New Jersey in 1972, I think. And all it was, was a lot of grass. This was summer, lots and lots of grass and yeah, like my, hills, yeah. hills and no gardens, just hills. My, my, my brother who grew up in New York City with me, uh, but never came to where I lived in central Jersey before was driving down. He said, I can't believe it. Cause he was driving at dusk and there were no lights. Why are there no lights on the effing street? What the hell's <laughs> wrong with you people? It's just trees. Well, I want you to know in our little group of five people, Two of us had never been to Jersey except one time, and we both got a car uh, uh, speeding ticket. <laughs> you also can't pump your own gas in New Jersey, too. Yeah, Why? same as Oregon. Oh, yeah. I, I have been it's to like New Jersey. I have in our group. I have been to New Jersey, and I found it quite a pleasant state. Like, I also couldn't understand why it has such a bad rep. My, uh, I have my a question, my Rob. My if brother lives in, uh, in uh, Frenchtown in western new jersey and was and they were near uh, clinton uh a beautiful beautiful area in western new jersey near near the pennsylvania state line rob yeah. do the new jersey people like the oregon people get to another state and need gas and go i don't know how to do this <laughs> oh absolutely yeah <laughs> my girlfriend and i got right. went right. did a camping trip up in washington and we got stuck because neither of us how, did you, how do you do we have we have shirts that say jersey girls don't pump gas yeah. <laughs> yeah. number two all right so uh number two did i say number two yeah no uh, yes. the capital is trenton yay and for i'll put all the answers in uh, the chat after i'm done uh saying them number three where do we rank in density it is number one yeah Yay. Yay. Alex, Alex, good job. Well done, Alex. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> and, and you would never question that if you tried to drive any place, especially north of, of the middle of New Jersey. Uh, yes. Okay. So, so Rob, I if I accuse you of being dense, you're not going to be ah. insulted or offended? <laughs> Rob, you mean north of central Jersey. Yes, correct. Number four, the cryptid that is said to inhabit the Pine Barrens of South Jersey, which in fact has a sports team named after it. It's the Jersey Devil. Yo! Hey. <laughs> also, I would accept the Leeds Devil because that was the original name mm -hmm. after a family named Leeds. Um, question number five, the War of the Worlds. I have another little clip which actually gives the answer. So this is from the, the middle of the, well, the early-ish middle of the broadcast. And, and the, the uh, thing here was they were supposedly just playing music and they kept breaking in more and more frequency with the bulletins of, of how the war was going. Facing on, facing God. Oops, we're on. Here we go. We take you now to Grover's Mill, New Jersey. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Which is just eat the cookie monsters now. What, what was the answer, Rob? Out of the Wilmot Farm, Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Professor Pearson and myself made the 11 miles from Princeton in 10 minutes. Well, I hardly know where to begin. I don't know if you can even make that out. Oddly, they, they deteriorated the, vol the, uh, the sound quality intentionally to make it sound like it was radio coming from the field. But Grover's Mill. 
Very good. Mm. Got it. Yay, yay. So that was uh, a real place. It is a real place. And it was mm -hmm. supposedly selected by the screenwriter randomly by buying a map at a New Jersey gas station and randomly poking it with a pencil. What did I say, T? There you go. Good job. Very I don't good. think it's the screenwriter for the radio, Rob. Uh, yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> what would they call also, that? Radio? Also referenced Buckaroo? in the movie Buckaroo Bonsai across the... Good writer. Good writer, Rob. Buckaroo Bonsai, huh? Yeah. Good movie. Um, the Ivy League University in New Jersey, I will be surprised if people did not get this, is Princeton. Yay, somebody on my team other than me. So my prediction is number seven is the one most people had a problem with. It is the Liberty Science Center. Mm. Any, mm. Anybody get that? Yes, we did. Yeah. All right. Oh. Did you know that, That's Aaron? Science Center. Aaron knew it. I didn't know it. <laughs> are, are, we, are we okay with Liberty Science Museum? No. Nope. Official name, Liberty Science Center. Ah. Oh, my Whoa, that, that's <laughs> tricky. I wow, Robert. Don't remember that, Rob. <laughs> Nobody got it. <laughs> wow. Uh, number eight. Um, I didn't hear anybody getting this. I was in three teams when they were discussing it. The company I worked for Robin. for many years before the mergers and acquisitions started. GE bought it. Then Martin bought the GE Aerospace. Then Lockheed bought that and became Lockheed Martin, but it was RCA, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, which is only a brand name of like cables and shit like that now. It's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> RCA Astro Electronics or the big sign outside was a really interesting driving up from a, miles and miles of cornfield. All of a sudden you saw this giant building with RCA Astro Space on it. It <laughs> was impressive. <laughs> Question number nine. I think most people would have known this. The New York Giants and the New York Jets from football both play in New Jersey, as do the New York Red Bulls. Oh. Which is Aaron's oh, background. Wow. New York, is, part of New York is taking over New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I asked for a ticket to an airport in New York, and one of the airports they gave <laughs> me was New York. That's correct. <laughs> Did EWR. You know that our team names is Red Bull. Yeah. How did that happen? And the final one. I don't hear anybody get this right. This is a fairly famous thing. I, the Battle of Trenton. We got, it. Huh. we got it. We got it. Okay. I knew I'd know it if somebody said it. That's right. Good job, team. Very good. I'm going to paste all the answers. I like that we are doing the states and geography. I love that we're getting through these because it's, it's really fun to... Um, 49 to go. <laughs> did, 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 did anybody, did, did anybody get RCA? Yep. No. So, oh, I wow. got Martin. Our was guess was Bell game. Labs. We guessed yeah. Rockwell. They were bought yeah. by Martin. Does that count? <laughs> Does Yo Yo Dine count? How about Radio Shack? <laughs> Radio Shack. <laughs> Andy Radio Shack exists again. It's not just a brand name. <laughs> All right, let's do our scores. Speak softly and carry a big mic, which is the team I was on. How do we do? Yes, seven, uh, seven out of ten. Wow, that's wow. pretty awesome. Let's see if anybody can beat that. The Cardinal Sinners. Eight. Yes, yeah, wow. somebody beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Carmel Tardis Red Bull Sox. Eight. We had eight, and I'm very disappointed that I didn't get Liberty Science Center. I called it a museum. You know what? I would I would keep track of that, Aaron, because you're going to be able to bargain <laughs> that point back, I think, because uh, uh, I would have given it to you. Uh, Murder of Trivial Trivius. Eight. Well, you know, I thought Speak Softly and Carry a Big Mike was doing really good with seven. Now I'm kind of embarrassed because everybody's at eight. Who are we? Seven. Yay! Somebody who scored seven too. <laughs> Good job, Rob. That's a nice score to get us everybody in the middle there. Seven and eight. This is probably what you're aiming for. Way to spread it out, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Thanks. Five is the middle. <laughs> well, seven is good. That's kind of how it works. I like it also when it's a little more diverse, but a little later on. That was just warming everybody up. Laying in the false confidence. Yeah. Peggy, Peggy, where are you? I'm here. Sorry. Oh, then you're right next to me. You can't get much closer than me. I'll be here. You'll be there. Okay. What you got? 
Well, tonight it's going to be completely different from what you just had because it has very few words. Um, you are going to match the author of an internationally famous mystery to the character that the author is most known for. Ooh, that so good. I will give you 10 authors in the first Ooh. chat and 10 characters that are associated with the author. I think that there should be pens. Okay, hang on, I gotta go find my-, my Peggy, listener. what are you calling this category? Um, international mystery writers and their famous creations. Oh, it rolls off the tongue. She said she didn't have a lot of words in this one. All right, <laughs> I'm muting everybody in three, two, one. She used all the words in the title. You're muted, Peggy. She just cursed into herself. Dallas, are you there? Dallas, mommy's gonna go take you for walkies. <laughs> Peggy, you just unmuted yourself and then re-muted yourself. That's a okay. Smoke. I see 10 on my chat. Do y'all see 10? Okay. That's the first one. Those are the writers. Now I have to go get the characters. All right, so there's writers and characters. You can just put an A, B, or C, or you can put the name, whatever you like. You're just gonna match up writers with characters. Any questions before we toddle off? Do we have to toddle? I have to toddle outside very briefly and then I will come in, but my dog is prednisone prone and he'll pee all over the house if I don't take him out soon, so. Dallas, no, go yeah. Dallas. All right, I will put it all in right the room. Okay, and then do I have powers? Yes, you should. Special Oh, powers. I do. I have breakout rooms in here. Special oh. rooms. Special powers to Peggy. All righty. Thank you. I'll be back. I'll be back. Writers. And... I am going to go to the Cardinal Centers. They're very familiar to me. Hello, teammates. I know number, oh. that, well, I know C. Who is it? Oh, Louise Penny uh, is, goes to Armand Garmesh. Jay. Susan, shouldn't you be in? Yeah, uh, I was going to say you're not Peggy's in the group. right room. This is not Peggy's group. This is Peggy's group. This is not nope. Peggy's group. Peggy's not on our team. Ooh. What was that again, Susan? Could you repeat Nothing. that? Nothing. I'm. <laughs> I went into the wrong room. I am supposed to go into Carmel Tardis. Ooh. Gender and sound of the names. Susan, Logic. do you know any of these people? Um, well, hold yeah. on. Let's just, I went let's into the wrong another... room. Yeah, I was going to say, why are, why are you in this room, Susan? I'm supposed to be in this room, no, right? This is, this and you're going to be in this room next yeah. round, too, because no, you have this, two people in a row. This, is, this, isn't, this isn't Peggy's room. This is hey. Peggy's room. This it is. is. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. That's why I said you and her are two categories. We get Susan back to back. Wait, you know, wait, Kevin, wait, I, wait, Kevin, wait, I thought wait. you were Kevin. I thought you were doing bonus. That's why I got confused. Oh um, no, no, not not. I'm not doing anything this week. Yep. Okay, wait a second. So, who's, yeah. got, who's got a category? So you're, in, you're in the right oh, room. In. But I have a I have a category next. Okay, well I'm going to go to the other room because I started to give him a tent. So. <laughs> Might be there, I hope it's 
been years since I've read her. But my I'm, unless somebody knows something better. I well, see. the only female name in the salvos is Vera. Yeah, that, so it turns that, out that uh, I have two people in the same room that are doing categories I messed up. So I yeah. am here and the next round I'll go to that one. Well, who? Okay. Who, so, who, what was your answer that you knew, Susan? It was J goes with C. Right. J goes oh. with three. Yep. <laughs> three goes we with three goes with J. Okay. okay. We got we got that one. And Vera Stanhope goes, we we think with, with um five. E D James. D e, four five. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, we're getting there, hard. process of elimination. Adam Denglish. So how do we know which ones you've you've taken from the bottom characters? Well, the letters, their, their letters are there. Yeah, the letters here, but I can. Do something to them yeah. so that we can eliminate them. A, B, C. Yeah, leave, them, leave them there e so we can. J are all gone. So those are the ones we've already chosen, right? Yes. A, B, C, E, and J. So what remains is unused is D, F, G, H, and I. I have Adam Delglish is is familiar to me. Adam uh -huh. Delglish is definitely familiar to me. So the ones at the top is Joe Nesbo, Michael Robinham, Anne Cleves. Calamari. Alexander Bacall Smith. None of those names sound familiar. And Cleves does a little bit, but probably because I know um, Alexander Anna Bacall Cleves. Smith is slightly familiar to me. And so is Adam Douglas. So in which and that sounds like a Scottish name. <coughs> it's probably not pronounced the way I'm pronouncing it. So how confident are we on the answers we already have? Well, I know my the one I gave is correct. I've read I'm most of it on books. six and seven because we we could always aim low and put D for all the remaining unanswered ones on the assumption that it's right for one of them just to guarantee one more point. <laughs> yeah, I think or guess. I think no. I I I'm thinking Alexander McCall Smith is a good guess for that one. For what? For. Adam Daglish, D for 10. D for 10. I think so. I'm not sure. But... <coughs> I'll put it. The name is sure familiar, but. Oh, yeah. The name is very familiar. And I, it sounds like a Scottish name to me. Um, Harry Hole. Who would name their character Harry Hole? Come on now. <laughs> Jeez. You know, I, I didn't even think of it until you said that out loud. That sounds like a Joe Nesbo thing to do. Yeah, I'll give it to Joe. Is Joe a, and that's that would be a, a female a, person, though? Hmm. Which kind of fits? Joe, I think, is a, is, a, is, a, is a woman. No? Sounds Joe like Nesbo it. must be a woman. With the way it's spelled? Yeah, J O. Just yeah. So you, you want to put H next to. Uh, Number one. Yes. I have I have penciled it in. Precious Ram Rams Ramaf Ramafwe. Ramaswe. 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 Ooh, I that. Michael Ro Robert Ham or the Robert Calamari Ham. person. Well, you know, the, for no good, particularly good reason, Calamari sounds more Italian, and Salvo Montalbano is also an Italian name. Yeah, it might so, be an Italian yeah. author who wanted an author. Yeah, that makes some sense. Based on absolutely, we're getting to the desperate. Yeah, at least we've got a, a chance at a good guess, unlike where we have to come up with a word we don't know. True. I got to put Bob in the room here. So we're thinking F for nine, just. F, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Does. Okay. Because Italian things should go together.
<laughs> precious, precious. Now, Anne Cleves is a, na a made up name and it's a British made up name. And I'm thinking that Precious Ramos Cleves sounds mm -hmm. like a made up name too. Sounds good for me. Better than no other reason. Yeah, it sounds like somebody, Anne Cleves is gonna come up with something really amazing as far as a name just to. And Cause that's clearly a made up name. She's, you know, Swan of Henry's and be the eighth wife. Yeah, that's a, that's all I'm thinking of. It seems so familiar to me because of Anna Cleves. Right. Well, that leaves I for two. I for two. Yeah, and I like that. For some reason, that sounds familiar to me. I read mysteries all the time, but they're mostly ancient mysteries. I do a lot too, but I'll pick one author and read everything, which is what I've done with uh, Louise Penny. I've read yeah. almost everything until I got to a point where this is just getting silly. <laughs> I mean, come on now. It got a little too carried away. Well, it's good when you have the same characters. You can read them over and over and over again. Yeah. Except, you know what bugs me is whenever you start reading the character, you're, you're reading a book and you're like on book four, and then they have to introduce the character as if this is the first time you're reading a book. And it's so annoying because then they get into the, you've read all these Louise Penny's books too, right, Gail? I, I read a lot of them, not all of them. And so they they always describe the, the photo, not the photo, the painting that one of the main characters has painted of the woman in the village and they have to describe it each time and it bothers me because they always do that and i don't like the way this character i don't like the way louise penny does it but you know who is the best at introducing what's going on in the world of like if you're dropping into a, the third or fourth book of a trilogy is jk rowling she does the best in the harry potter books where she'll introduce mm -hmm. Like she'll have some weird thing happen and the person's like, well, what's going on? Who are these people? And then she has to explain to that character what is going on in the world of magic and all that other stuff. And the way she explains it, and then they ask questions like, you gotta be kidding me. How is this happening? You know, And the way she explains it makes it so it feels believable. And I, I've, I've always liked the way she does that. And you don't feel like you're reading the same thing each time. You feel like you're also answering the question to, you're like, oh, well, here, let me explain it to you, you know, kind of thing. I don't- yeah, I, I, I don't belong know. to a book club, a mystery book club, which is how I've read some of these books. And one of the things that I really hate is when we start, because it has to be a book that's in the library since the library sponsors the club. And we'll start on the ninth book or the 10th book. And what do they do when they introduce it? They give away the first date. So if you like the book, it's too late. Because mm -hmm. you, once you know who's, who did it, it ruins They give the it book. away? Where? What do you mean? Well, you know that- so they're, telling, they're giving you the background so you understand the story. And while if he's alive it, in the ninth book, away, you know he doesn't get killed in the eighth book. Oh. <laughs> And that really is bothersome and has ruined a number of books for me. That's only assuming that the, the stories are in chronological order. They are. And they're usually the, the same main character. And often they build on the previous stories. Read the Fletch books. But Those Fletch. Are all kind of for instance, Hound of the Baskervilles was written after the final problem, but chronologically took place before it. Uh, I didn't know you were a Hound of the one. <laughs> How do we disappear like that? Magic. We need more time. I knew Peggy. Peggy, did you do that? I didn't pull us back. Because we had. I, I did because I had at least three teams that seemed ready. Um, yeah, we, ready. Had, we, we're we were ready. having screen sharing problems, and we didn't even get to look at it. The whole team didn't get to look at it until like. Okay, a ago, I'm okay so with more time, okay? but I think we should limit it to. Yeah, we don't need a lot more time. So four, just five minutes. Three. Perfect. Let's say three minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you. I We're going to do three minutes before pressing Susan, can the recall Can you send them back or do I do that? I, you can do it. I, can I? Yeah. Open all rooms. Is that what I'm doing? Yep. yep. So only go all if right. you have to go. If you don't have to go, don't go. So I just found out that Carl is a Hound of the Baskervilles fan. We're, we're doing a bathroom break later. Why are you talking about good news to go? <laughs> The Hound of the Basketball, I could do a whole trivia category on that. That is such a good book. Oh, man. Only if Carl's on my team. Where's Carl? Arthur, Arthur Conan Doyle. He's is under a rug somewhere. 
No, I'll go read it. He, he wrote that story. He wrote that book after he killed off Sherlock Holmes, but I didn't set know the that. story prior to Sherlock Holmes' supposed death. I didn't know that. So it's a later issue. A later so it's book. a time travel book. No, but no. but he didn't actually <laughs> kill off Sherlock. He he unkilled off Sherlock Holmes later on. Yep. You'd be surprised how much Sherlock um, Arthur Conan Doyle appears in Australian newspapers. If you listen to the Skeptic Zone, you might have a, an idea because he, he came out here touring about and speaking on spiritualism. Yeah, he Is was that right? knee yeah, deep yeah. in the woo. He certainly what I was. understood, Carl, was that he he killed off Sherlock Holmes intending for it to be over. And yeah. the public yeah. was infuriated, so he had to bring yeah, him back. because he was alive. tired of writing it. Oh, I can see how he'd get sick and tired of that pompous man. And but... then he wrote Hound of the Baskervilles, and then eventually he started writing serials again and contrived a story by which explained that Sherlock Holmes never died when he supposedly died. Which was, was, final... what, was that more or less bizarre than the way they did it in the Benjamin Cumberbatch uh, series too? Benjamin Cumberbatch, I'm sorry, that is not Sherlock Holmes. No, that is some fantasy. Benedict. Whatever his name is. That, that is so not Sherlock Holmes that it is almost embarrassing. So so watch it for its own enjoyment, but don't. But that but that wasn't my question. So they had a similar episode. They killed him off at the end of a season. And then also they brought him back in a bizarre way. And I, and I, I never read the original story oh, stories. Well, so I don't know it, which was more weird. In the final problem, uh, Professor Moriarty and him engage in a fight at the Reichenbach Falls and they in both totally fall to their death. And when when she when he revives him, he basically just says, "Oh, Empty even house. though Watson looked and said that the the wall was unclimbable, that Holmes actually managed to climb the wall and get to safety." Yeah, I got better. He says, "I didn't climb out of the wall." <laughs> he better. says, "I didn't climb out of it because I was never in it." It's called oh, the empty yet. house. Hi, Jamie. And Professor I Moriarty appeared in only one story for the sole purpose of killing off Holmes. Oh, oh it's you know it, Moriarty's Sherlock like Holmes the most famous Sherlock incredible. Holmes villain. So Susan, you don't you don't like the TV show? How do you feel about the uh, movies with Robert Downey Jr. in them? They're not Sherlock Holmes either. No, those are superhero nah. movies. Sorry, yeah, I don't think pretty so. much. No, you can you can see most of the um, the TV series from the eighties. That's on YouTube, I believe. That's that, so I really Jeremy enjoyed that. Ba Jeremy, Jeremy Brent. Bash is the best. Jeremy Brent. Brent. Jeremy Brent. Brent. Yeah, he yeah, is yeah, incredible. He's he really he amazing good. character. He is. He is. He is Sherlock Holmes. Right. And apparently, he he used to carry the both stories around with him and was a stickler for trying to stay close to as possible to the original story. Right? He died yeah. too. He had a lot of problems. Um, uh didn't he die uh no many years you. ago many many years ago but uh, he had yeah. depression i think he i think uh, so yes 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 he, he the series. One, of the, one of the characters that's important in the Sherlock Holmes story is watson mm -hmm. and many of these are the watsons are terrible uh the for example but J jeremy brett the first watson he had was very good i thought it was the best watson people yes. overlook like how Agreed. important watson is how about the, uh, the the series where it's a female watson no. Oh, elementary. That's that's a good series, actually. What are that's... you guys talking about? That what is about... not real Sherlock Holmes. Give me a what break. about the one where Sherlock Holmes is a Japanese lady? <laughs> no, that's a real that's a TV just... series. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Right about now, no. Richard would say, "How about the one where we get the answers?" <laughs> oh, I, I I've given up. On nice that. one. I've given up on that. <laughs> nice segue. You I want to write an, an Australian for, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> for Richard, it's for already answer? tomorrow. Are we all so back? Indubitably, yes. Peggy. Did we lose? Uh, what have you deduced? What are the answers? Wait, did we lose Sherlock our? Holmes. Did we lose some people? Is everybody uh, back? Yeah, as soon as we lost, we did lose Alex. I don't think he'll be back, but he does say thank you. We had a great time, and he doesn't want to come back. So okay, very good. Can imagine, Mister Holmes has been another murder. Oh, crikey, another one. Right. <laughs> nice. What's that? It's a magnifying glass. That's not a there, magnifying there glass. Is <laughs> there is not a Hercule Poirot uh, anime right. series, Caspian. Oh, God. Awesome. All right, I'm going to do answers. Anybody care? Oh, we yes. were talking Sherlock Holmes. Sure. Who wants Go to ahead. do the next category in Sherlock Holmes? Okay. Let's do Hound of the Basketball. Holmes would be a great category. I, 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 mm. I think I did it before, didn't we? Yes. Um, maybe, yeah. Go ahead, Peggy. 
We Number did it before and people hated me because they didn't like it. I got 10 out of 10 in that round. Joe Nesbo wrote about Harry Hole. Yes. Which is so, so can you give us the can you give the us idea? letters with it? Yeah. Uh, H, yeah. Um, Michael H. Robotham, who is Australian, has written about I, Joe O'Laughlin. Louise Penny, who's Canadian, has written about Armand Gamache, J. Yay, it's the only one I knew. <laughs> Henning McCall, who is Swedish, wrote about Kurt Melander. I think a lot of you knew that one. Are Which you putting is... it in the chat? Because I'm not seeing C. Let's see. see. All right. right. Thank you. I haven't put it in the chat. I'm going to put them all in the chat okay. next to the right. because yep. I didn't have them up. P.D. James, uh, who's English, Mark, wrote about work? Adam Dalgleish, which is D. Mm -hmm. mm. Raymond Chandler, classic American mystery writer, wrote about where Philip Marlowe, A. Mm -hmm. Walter Mosley, another classic American writer, wrote about uh, Easy Rollins, who is B. And Cleves, who is British, wrote about Vera Stanhope, who is E. Oh, and okay. Andrea Camilleri, who is Italian, wrote, and I heard some people figuring this one out just on sheer intelligence, wrote about Salvo Montalbano. And if you haven't read those, they're magnificent. Good job. Is Bill. that, and, and what is that? It? That's F, right? Yep. F. Alexander McCall Smith wrote The Wonderful Precious Ramat's Way, that's G, um, the first ladies detective agency. They take place in Botswana. Oh. They're very wonderful. I All right, I'm going to paste this in the chat. Martha Conan Doyle wrote about fairies. <laughs> Paddington Ferries? Pottingly. 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 I know, I always say Cottington. I don't know why that sounds like it's more mm. right. They were the real There fairies. they are with their letters. Thank you. I thought these would be easier, so uh, it was kind of fun. Why, why, why do people, no, why do people not learn not to think that? I don't Yeah, I know. I, I know I'm that I shouldn't think that. Okay. Well done, team. That's all I can say. Janine and Robin and Rob, Bob and... <laughs> Jane. Oh, we did better than James we thought we would. That's the, let me put it that way. <laughs> I'm copying the answers here. And Jane, you wake up. And then I will ask you in a minute the scores. I'm just copying yeah. over. My husband watches every episode of Vera, of Vera on NPR, but. Uh, he couldn't tell us who the author was. You know what? We started watching Vera. That was really My good. My husband loves Vera. It was I really, adore really terrific, but it got kind of violent. And uh, lots of kids and animals and stuff like that killed. And it was just too much for me. I have a sensitive. I tend to obsess about things I've read or uh, movies I've watched. And I get to a point where I just think about it, think about it, think about it. It's not good for my sanity. Okay, but I loved Vera. We really liked it. Oh, darn it, it didn't copyright. Copyright, get it? <coughs> boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, almost. Oh, oh I so, see. Is that a registered copyright? <laughs> Here's a new one. I need a permit if I want to travel outside of Sydney now. Mm. Wow. wow. How do they know that you're traveling outside? I mean, is there a fence around it or something? Well, they, they might come to that the way things are going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get our scores. Score scores. So I will start with the high ones. A murder of trivialists. We have eight. Oh wow. Carmel Tardis Red time. Bull Sox. We have 10. Ooh. Oh, Keep in mind that uh, we have uh, Karen who's looking for a team. So let's see what team I'm putting her on. The Cardinal Sinners. Seven. Ooh. Okay. And speak softly and carry a big mic. Five. And who are we? Four. Well, I know where Karen's going. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this this spread things out a bit. Yes, it sure did. Let me give you to the. Secret. That sounds like a good name for team. Yeah, spreads this out a little bit. 
So Karen, you're going to be on. Who are we? Okay, let's let no, me we, we didn't have let's, ten. We had two. Got it. What? We had two. I was joking. Seriously? Oh. Yeah, we had That's two. That's better. I like that. Okay, Karen, you're not on that team. I'm, oh I'm darn. <laughs> well, the the yeah. team jinx still holds. Oh yeah. So yeah, and, and and Susan bailed on us. No, I didn't. Yes, you were supposed did. to be on our team. Yeah, you did. You came in and then you left. <laughs> you were supposed to be on our team. And you weren't. But I went into another team and then left first. And I gave him an answer, so I was better. So why did you come back to us and give us the answers? Oh, hey. You because, were on somebody else. We lost to... the player. You're supposed to be on our team. No, but you didn't know two, anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. There's two people on your team that are giving categories today, so I blew it. I uh... you should be there twice. No, that would be. <laughs> we got bad. jinxed twice then. <laughs> But it don't jinxes Susan, cancel okay? each other out? Yeah, it might be a double jinx. Zero plus zero. Two negatives make a positive. Zero times thing. zero is zero. Isn't that how it works? Very good. Five minute break. Okay. I was going to tell you guys, uh, oh. Oh, especially Leonard, Mark showed me the the day the earth just stood still last night. I've never seen it. That was Isn't terrific. What? I Isn't mean, it wonderful? The real the original, original one. Great. The original. Not, the original. Not the original. Oh, right. 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 Not Anna Reeves is great, and also the guy from Mad Men is, is good in that too. What? Wow. Well, that. The original oh, movie. I'm talking about the, talking about the remake. Yeah, you have to see that. You have to see the true one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so there is something really interesting happened. Mark, I didn't tell you this either. So the the actress who the main actress in the 1951 um, version, and that was the year Mark was born. Michael Rennie. My, Michael. You said actress. Did you Michael Rennie uh, played the actress. alien. Her name was um, you said actress. Patricia Rennie. Is that it? Well, I'll Patricia. look it up for you. Yeah. Michael Rennie was the alien uh, who, by the way, if you know the Rocky Horror Picture Show music, now you get it, right? Michael Rennie was ill the day the earth stood still and oh, he told us where we stand. That's right? right. Da, 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 da. Uh, Never got that, did you? I didn't before? get that. Okay, so here's what's interesting is Mark was telling me that the woman, the main character in the- Patricia Neal. Patricia Neal. Thank oh, you. right. Yeah, very yeah. close. So she had, Mark said she had a, like insanity in the family and lost it or whatever. And so she was institutionalized. Well, that is sort of true. So I read the Wikipedia page last night. Now check this out. This is fascinating because what ends up happening, let me pull this up really quick so I can make sure I say the right word. You trust Wikipedia? Yeah, yeah. I sure do in this case. Um, oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, wait. Starting losing. So she's your relative. Wait, wait. She lost her mind and she's your grandmother. <laughs> I would never have anybody famous like that. You're kidding. Okay. So what um, ends up happening is the woman ends up, she does a bunch of films. She ends up getting having an affair with a married man, and that married man was Gary Cooper. And she ends up, let me see if I can find it again. She ends up having to have an abortion now she was catholic and she had to have an abortion and she ended up kind of losing it she breaks up with gary cooper oh he slaps her or punches her whenever somebody was when kirk douglas was trying to seduce her remember kirk douglas so she ends up leaving gary cooper who was a married man and she marries ronald Dahl, the man who wrote all those awesome children's books you guys know. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka and Willy Charlie, Willy um, yeah, uh, James the Giant Peach, uh, The Witches, Fantastic Mr. Fox, The BFG, uh, lots of really amazing, terrific stories. Now, so Roland and Patricia <laughs> have five kids. So what happens is there is this vaccine that comes out for measles and where they were living they couldn't get enough doses of it so the the they had enough doses i think for two children 
they couldn't get it for everybody. So they gave it to the boys and they said, the girls will probably do fine, you know, bring color to their cheeks or whatever. So they didn't get to give the vaccine to the, to the, to the children, all of the five children, they had to select which ones were getting the, the measles dose. And Olivia got sick and she died in her dad's arms from the measles. And it was a devastating tragedy, especially since the parents had, couldn't choose who to give the vaccine. You know, had to, they were the ones that chose who gave the vaccines to. Will this be on the test? No. So this is something you should know. So Roland Dole was a huge advocate for vaccinations. And he wrote a book called George's Marvelous Medicine. And it was a book about uh -huh. medicine and, you know, getting things done and, and so on. Well, not too much longer, like I think in 2012, uh, an anti-vaxxer by the name of Stephanie Messenger, she wrote a book called Melody's Marvelous Measles which is a book that is based on kind of plays with the words of George's marvelous medicine. And in the book, Melody's marvelous measles, she's encouraged, it's a children's book, encouraging children to go get me uh, the measles and, and live on sunlight and fresh fruit and, and carrots and stuff like that. You'll be fine. And the skeptic community, actually the whole world was going freaking nuts and they ended up, um, if you read the reviews for Melody's Marvelous Measles on Amazon, it rips her book. I mean, they give five stars to the book and then you read it. It's all about children's coffins and stuff like that. It's really like activism 101 with the skeptic community was incredible. And Stephanie Messenger, who wrote the book, was going to go to Australia and do a tour. She was invited by Sherry Tenpenny. No, I, maybe I've got these backwards. Richard, are you there? I think, I think the per, the woman who just did um, the person who wrote the book was Sherry Tenpenny. I wish the other, somebody look it up, Mike. Can you look it up real quick? Melody's yeah. Marvelous Measles. The author was Sherry Tenpenny, or was she? No, it's the other way around. So who was the, who was the author of the book? Sherry Tenpenny is a is a, a wacko doctor in America. Yeah. Okay, so Melody's Marvelous Measles was going to go, she was supposed to go on tour in Australia, but the Australians, mainly the Australian skeptics and the science community managed to get her tour Stephanie canceled. Stephanie Messenger was the author of Melanie's okay, Marvelous Measles. Yeah, Measles. and she's British. Uh, she's Australian, right? Well, where's Hector? Am I right? Wait, uh, well, let's just look her up. Wait, it gets, the story gets... Yes, she's Australian. Okay, so Sherry Tenpenny's the Australian. No, Stephanie. everything in Australia is trying to kill you. So that's Stephanie Messenger that is Australia. Okay, Stephanie Messenger was trying to bring Tenpenny over. Right. And Tenpenny is the woman who just appeared in Ohio recently telling everybody that they're magnetic if they get the vaccine. Yep. So her fame uh, went, she was banned from Australia because she was going to do a tour of anti vaccination back in like 2013 or 14. And the Australian community managed to get her banned one of the first people to be banned from Australia for giving tours and stuff like that. And she's this woman who appears in the news all of a sudden at that state, Ohio state thing where, you know, getting the vaccines are going to give you magnets. And that's those people. She started the rumor about the mag magnets. So this she's all goes a, back. an anti-vaxxer for a while too. Yeah, she is. But it's really interesting because it all goes back it made me think of all this again because of um, the day the earth stood still. So that was the wife of Roland Dahl. And she ends up, she ends up um, uh, eventually they divorced and stuff. But um, a movie came out recently and I haven't seen it. And I think it's called Miss Olivia or, or something about the, the little girl, Olivia who, Dahl, who died. And um, Roland Dahl, Dahl's other child is really pro-vaccine and she will, like talk about what her how her father felt about vaccinations and stuff like that and and rolled doll r o a rolled r o a l d r o a l rolled doll okay rolled doll you know yeah. what I'm talking about so Susan how does Klaatu Barada Nikto fit into this <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting for that I gotta to be say, said you totally lost me Susan I zoned out I don't know yeah there's the, some that. somehow 
Fatu Barata Nikto has got to get in here. I don't know who that is. Believe it or not, my you know category. Did you not see the movie? Did you not see the movie? What movie? Did you not pay attention? The day the earth stood still. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Tell Gort Klatu Barada Nikto. Okay. What was it, Gil? Was it you, Gil? Or was that no? I, was I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping everybody paid attention to the story. My category is 10 questions on the story Susan just gave. <laughs> <laughs> I get a zero. Nice. It was on the test. First oh, question is, how many people stopped paying attention halfway through the story? I oh, you're you're gonna be lunch. kidding me. That was fascinating. It was fascinating. And I wrote Richard, the, thank you for bringing enough to share. And I wrote the Wikipedia page for Sherry Tenpenny, which is weird because I've forgotten who she was. <laughs> and I wrote the Wikipedia page for Melody's Marvelous Measles. Is that her real name or is that like an alias? Ten Penny. Oh no, Ten Penny's a real name. Is that a real name? How did Roll Dahl get involved in this? He was he was his child died of measles. And he had to choose which child was going to get the measles vaccination because he oh, had yeah. less. You know, I, heard, I heard something about Spartacus. <laughs> reading reading this <laughs> reading the stuff that you guys read. are weird. Yeah. Didn't you that, mention Spartacus? You mentioned Spartacus. That was totally fascinating. I'm still fascinated. I, I thought. It was a very interesting story. It was great. Susan, you, he, uh, Roald Dahl wrote a short essay <laughs> describing why you should vaccinate your children. Yes, he sure and did. And it's absolutely heart-wrenching. Yes, absolutely. So he was this huge advocate for vaccines back before it became like... And apparently he's a pretty good writer, too. Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah. <laughs> His books are... Only, only a little bit anti-Semitic, but... Well, let's let's go with the vaccine thing. That is a good what thing. What do you mean anti-Semitic? He was he was a pilot during World War II, and he, he fought was, in the battle. He was also, Africa. at least according to his Wikipedia page. Were you reading now? I was talking. Lovecraft. How anti-Semitic? <gasps> who, who are we talking about? Self-hating Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl was a Nazi, apparently. Not true. I didn't say. He, he was he was Norwegian, but he fought for the British in World War II. I mean, he was a British citizen, and he was a pilot, and he, he the shot British, down a shit ton of British were anti-Semitic. The British were all anti-Semitic. Why, are you, you using why, why are you using the past tense? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> hey, are we going to take a picture and go on break? We're on break. We've been on break. We're about to go back. We're, we're early on break tonight. I can't go put the chickens in yet. Okay. We'll need to have, have another break later. We'll have to have another break. Oh, look, have Bob have another... left this three chickens. Is that another chicken? He's got three chickens there. <laughs> All right. It's a, I have to I have to space peace out. Good night, well, everyone. Do you want to take a picture first? Oh. Good night. 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 Good You'll get pictures of Bob's chicken. They're hilarious. That's great. Like chicken. Do Bob's chicken. Yeah, let's get his chickens in yeah. there. Okay, let me get the screen up. I'm not seeing his chickens. They're right there on the front of the screen. How do you <laughs> I'm know not that? finding them either. I'm not sure where they went. Oh, oh yeah. They're, they're, right they're, they're right sitting screen. in the back, and there's one right there in the oh, front. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's one, one, one coming in. Okay, everybody <laughs> smile, including the chickens. Bop, 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 Aaron bop. driving. There we go. I got it. Okay. I think I got it. I need to tell you, Susan, I took John over to the food carts in Albany today. Oh, the wonderful. ones you found for us. We had no idea that we <laughs> that was that was a terrific place. Yeah, it's a great place. I would never have had any idea you because I just them. drove around. <laughs> You just found them. We're good. Okay. I got it. So, Mike, if you have to leave, you right. can go now. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mike. Good night, Mike. Good night, Mike. Good night, Mike. Hi, Mike. Apparently, he has a job he has to be up and wake for and coherent. Mm -hmm. I guess that happens. I'm His chicken is Isabella doesn't is look happy yet. Isabella's not uh, happy yet. Who has not? Oh, um, I'm trying to de-stress by making some tea right now. 
So yeah, that's what I, guess, I, I, I agree yeah. with Bob. I, I agree with Rob. This will be a good, good uh, story. Skeptical with, I'm, I'm trying to lecture. de-stress with some tea. I don't know if it's going to work or not. <sighs> it's okay though. Oh All depends goodness. on what's in the tea. <laughs> no, it's just like it's like a rose. Uh, it, it says it's supposed to de-stress you. I don't know why, but it, <laughs> I was at the store and it looked like something I would need, regardless if it works or not. But just don't act I like the sound of the name. Vodka in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. It, I think it's like a rose tea or something. You've already yeah, decorated. Look at you. Yeah, uh, I have. I don't know if I know. I can really give you a tour. Um, so that's my wall. That's my life. <laughs> this is my bed that's currently a mess. Um, that's the, that's my clothes and stuff. Yeah. That's kind of it. Is your crazy and roommate? I, I really don't know. Um, I'm kind of glad. Go through her stuff. <laughs> that looks very familiar. It looks just like a dorm room I've lived in for uh, a lot of time. Let's just say my dorm room, stuff. except we didn't Drinking have my bricks. tea. That's a good idea. I say invest in a taser. If she goes through your stuff again, one tase, and she probably won't do it again. Yeah, I think um, they'll end up such fantastic problem. suggestions. Or you could put <laughs> some mouse traps in them. So like very clear, like what like my boundaries were. <laughs> but apparently, I didn't, which I don't understand <sighs> how because I was made sure I was very direct. <laughs> oh, here you go. Get those scat mats like you have for cats to keep them from getting on counters. Put that on top of your stuff. Yeah, that's that's what it might be. Electric mean. dog call. They'll probably move you guys really soon, Isabella. This is really common for these things to yeah. happen, and they'll move you probably within a couple of days. Yeah. Just they gotta that's get what organized. I'm, they tried to put in a um actually I met with like the supervisor of like the dorm, not just the RA, but like her uh head person. And they're gonna try to put in like an emergency uh move order because I have uh like they said, well, because you're part of the, uh, because you have a learning disability and just because I have like anxiety. And I like said, like, this could get really, really bad. And I don't want to deal with that. So they're using my mental health as a emergency order to move me. So hopefully it works. Use the word safety somewhere in the conversation. It usually helps. Yeah, that's what I did. I was like, my mental health, my emotional health is at jeopardy. And luckily the guy who I was talking to was very, very like logical and very like, okay, this is how we have to go about it to make sure you're safe, everyone's safe. So hopefully it all works. Well, text me because I want to hear what happens. But I'm, I'm sure you'll probably everyone work updated. out in a couple days. On the horror story that is my life right now. <laughs> Besides, if she's got alcohol in there in the dorm, she should be gone anyway. Good. Yeah, no, I told the RAs through. and I said, the problem is they can't do anything unless they said like they can't unless it's like out in the open they can't do they can't do anything unless they catch yeah. her red hand but they did and say I... if like people are like actively drinking they literally gave me the lady's like direct phone number to call her and text her immediately and they'll come in but chico state is famous for this Party. Yeah, really <laughs> well i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to be in the uh I selected to be in the uh I'm um, in like the I literally selected to be in the like the, the religious dorm where people don't drink. It's in the convent. And that's for exactly that very why they're doing that in there is because I, I had this when don't religious people drink. My first I had this <laughs> like the girl was trying speak I was in college because mine got caught smoking pot multiple. Little sips of wine and little tiny pieces. Well then she's drink. vaping in the room too. So oh, yeah. Yeah. And she's gonna say the problem is if she I told the RA I said because the smoke detectors what will happen is if they set off that there's like a little computer in it that tells them at the front desk which room it was set off in mm. and so I told the RA I said I just want to let you know she is vaping in the room and um it's not me it's her and they said okay if it goes off we'll know so so it's her mother who signed her up for the religious storm yes. her mother yeah. her mother looks kind of like a hot mess <laughs> That's probably like why she's like got a hot mess like, and is doing whatever the hell she wants the first week. I wouldn't want to let's just say I wouldn't want to meet her on a dark alley. Oh here comes Janine back. It'll be okay. Yeah. Bob, we got pictures of your chickens. They were hilarious. Yeah. Does Norman know what this is? Does anybody know what this is? It's a chicken. It's a chicken. Oh, silky. But I'm yeah. 
the silky. Yeah. She even know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or, a, or a or a guard at the at the Buckingham Palace. Yeah, yeah. Got a, <laughs> this is a good breed for children that like to play with dolls, you know, comb their hair. Used to be, I, you would say little girls, but now I'll say any children yeah. that play with dolls. Because you can just take, it's like fur. They're feathers, but it's like fur, so you can comb them. And they, they like it, huh? Little, yeah, there's little um, crumbles of stuff in there. When they grow new feathers, it comes out in a sheath, and that breaks up. And so it's like dandruff, so you can you just go like and that. Broom your chickens. That's good. Yeah. That is yeah, so I've got comforting. A, I've got a question for Gail. Gail, uh, you're you're in Las Vegas, aren't you? I am. So Avi's there for the weekend. I think so is Jeff and a bunch of his friends. Uh, do Definitely, they have to hold yeah. their breath for the whole weekend? How bad is it there? Well, I wouldn't be able to tell you directly because I'm not leaving the house. That's how bad I think <laughs> Great. it is. Great. Right. The governor has enforced a mandate on residents, but it doesn't apply to tourists. Because what? they're worried about losing the tourists. <laughs> wow. So I wouldn't go any place where there was a crowd without a mask, right. even if you're vaccinated. Yeah, Jeff, Julie, and Avi are all in Vegas. They better send us a photo. Tell him, Alan, they need to take a picture together. And several of the big stars who had started, well, I, I don't know his name, but the very famous um, country western star um, who believes in COVID. And he had started doing shows here and he stopped. Garth Brooks. Was, Garth Brooks is one of Garth Brooks, that's right. He stopped. He's just announced that he, he's giving refunds and he's not going to do it while they, they, it's continuing. So I'm married to someone who's on oxygen. So I'm particularly cautious, but it's, it's not good. Well, the smoke isn't too good there either. The smoke is very bad right now. Yeah. And yes. we had it. We had an incident. First day of school has just, just passed this last week. And the local news carried the story of an elementary school where a mother sent her child who had tested positive oh, yeah, to I read school. And now they've closed the school and all the children are in. And he knew, the mother knew it wasn't an accident. The mother knew the child was positive and sent the child to school anyway. What does the mother say in that situation? Or do they are know? There, what, they, they, they are talking to the mother. The mother is in, a big, is in big trouble, not only from the other parents, but from the government because of the- of Well, the that's what I was danger. wondering. Is there legal consequences for yeah. that? There will be yeah. because the governor has said, you know, that we have a democratic governor and he is definitely a believer and has enforced mandates now. So you can't do anything that he has the power to stop. Um, and the local school board is now fighting to to keep the kids masked. Of course, remind me remind me to masks. not look down upon the uh, next time there's an Ebola outbreak. The people yeah. who insist on touching the body at the funeral, um, and that's how they catch Ebola, because Americans are just as fucking stupid as that. Some, you can still look Americans, down on them. Oregon, Oregon now requires all teachers in all schools to be vaccinated. Uh, nursing homes, well, I think that's nationwide. Um, responders, medical responders, um, I'm thinking what other categories are required to be vaccinated or... She's cutting up on it. You're cutting out. Yeah. She froze. We have, we have season tickets to well, the symphony, and and there's we, not a test option they had, they anymore. Had, they said you, that there you, was going to be a season this year. You froze, Janine, for about thirty center, seconds. Which is the big local place has just sent out a survey to everyone oh, who has season it, tickets, and I think that means that they are reconsidering whether they're going to open in September like they planned. That makes sense. Did everyone hear about the Supreme Court of Texas decision? Just push no. to my phone. Just push to my phone. Supreme Court of Texas no. refused Governor Greg Abbott's request to intervene in the case of mass mandates established by several local jurisdictions in Texas. Is that good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Some of these times get a little confusing. Which one is what? So he, I missed your very first words. So he can't mandate no mask. Correct. 
So let's do a few couple announcements real quick. Richard, what you got? Saunders, where are you? I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm eating my. Is that correct? My lockdown um, potato chips. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> they have official <laughs> lockdown Good. potato chips. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast on the 22nd of August, 2021, episode number 672, I'm joined by special guest Pascual Romero from Squaring the Strange as we look at 5G conspiracy theories. We also look at weird and crazy COVID stories coming out of Australia. And finally, we wrap up with a look at more modern interpretations of the paranormal and Jack the Ripper. All that coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Very good. Do you I'm ask this. Pascal um, about Dragon Con? Because I just heard today that he just backed out. Oh, they backed uh, out. <clears throat> no, I, no, ago. I didn't. No, Ben told me a little while ago that he, he yeah. They they announced it on their show a while ago that they weren't going. Yeah, yeah I, I, heard, I, I heard from Celestia that it was in different waves. I forget who. I think Celestia and Ben backed out first, and then it was Pascal. Or maybe I'm getting no, no. I, I, ben was Ben was a bit of a holdout, but now. Oh yeah, yeah, because he doesn't have kids, right? Pascal right, yeah. and Celestia. That's what they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And I just got a notice: the live skeptic track is canceled. The AV production company that would have done the work has pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> That's no. It doesn't make sense to do it. Adrian, you have anything on the skeptic zone? This you want to plug since you're not this week turning into one of the big reporters <laughs> i believe it's next week isn't it richard next week you'll hear adrian's report about her trip to jasper Ooh, i heard her reading the news today oh. it doesn't mean that it was today that she read the news but i <laughs> heard part of the skeptic zone kyle where are you kyle right next to you well, this week on Data Skeptic, a good one. I t I'm sure everyone who has watched any bit of the news is aware of ransomware attacks <gasps> that have become a big problem. I talked to a researcher about how he's been able to detect them. And this isn't something like an antivirus software that you can work around. He's actually looking at low level aspects of the way electricity is used in the machine. So we might have an early alerting system that says this computer is currently under a ransomware attack while wow. the encryption starting. So uh, could be a great benefit for everybody. Talking about cool. that this week on Data Skeptic. Very Sounds good. good. Where'd Karen go? She was just here. Karen, are you still here? She's the one that dropped out? She went I'm to here. listen. <laughs> well, she, she was in her car, so maybe she... Yeah, she was getting out of her car, so she's... Yeah. Okay, I have something for her. I'll get to her in a second. Um, all right, so I just gave the powers to Aaron. Let me see if I can figure out how the powers work. The powers. I, I see them. <laughs> okay. So What's your category? My, category, my category, which actually Susan announced at the beginning of the meeting, my category is MLS soccer. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> and let me read to you. It's all... Similar to Peggy's category, I have one question and you will have 10 answers to work out on it. Did you say uh, MLS, Major yes. League Soccer? Yep. Multiple listing service. That's what I thought when I heard it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're in trouble when we long. didn't even know what that acronym was, Aaron. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> this will so, separate the... So my, my brief summary here is in 1996, the U.S. was introduced to a new sport American soccer, the MLS. This was a little different from world soccer or football and deserves its own name. It was modified from the world sport with several changes. The biggest ones were how the game time was kept, which means the referee did not keep time. Uh, the time clock on the, on the scoreboard kept time and he had to signal to stop that clock instead of it being a running clock. The other big change was that no games ended in ties. They had a 35 yard running uh, shot, running shot to break a tie. It was kind of bizarre. So there were 10 teams in the first season, each with its own name and logo. For 10 points, match each logo with the city they were associated with. I will list all the cities that are currently in the league and one that isn't. And, and a clue, a clue to that is 
The one that isn't is one of the 10 teams. It no longer exists in the league. The logos have been modified to hide words that indicate where they play or the team name that might give clues, but are otherwise unaltered and maintain their style. And I will give you the, I will do two things here. Let me first post the link. This is the link to the pictures and uh, cities. And I will share my screen possibly. Do we need to take a picture of the screen, Erin? If you don't have, if you can't get to the um, web, the website page, you, you could take a picture of the screen. Okay, so uh, if we can get to the website, then we don't need a picture of the screen. Okay. So share the screen. This is the screen. I will share this one. <laughs> so here is my screen. These are the, these are the 10 team logos, and beneath it are 27 uh, current and former cities that these teams played in. One, you know, 10, the 27 teams that are currently being played in, and you just need to match the city with the logo. The city with the logo. Wow, you know what, Aaron? You're going to be so happy that I was I'm, I chose to be on your team this time instead of the team before. Wow. I, I expect tens for many of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I, it's going to be easy. A bunch of duty play in. Easy isn't, peasy. Isn't, right? isn't that a rule? I, I got two. Do any of those uh, cities have lighthouses? <laughs> <laughs> any punch and duty <laughs> references there? All right, so I think it's obvious. This should be interesting. It should sort us out quite well. Um, here we so, go. Janine, you're gonna go to a murder of trivialists. Karen, you're gonna go with me to Carmel. So let's go over there. I got one. What happened to the two? Yeah, I was going to say you had two. What's Am I up? on the right team now? <laughs> you are. This Okay. Before Stay we start, there. I wanted to tell Karen, when we come back from break, I wanted you to do a quick announcement on the on um, voting. Karen, you're muted. Okay, she, she knows. She'll be she able knows. to do okay. it when she gets back. But I, I'm when she disappeared when I did announcements, I was going to have you say something. But now, so when we get back, we'll have you do that. Yeah. California residents, be alert. <laughs> and yep. then the people who are in California residents will remind all their friends that they know that are California residents. Okay, so I got nothing except none of those are San Jose is not there. I don't reckon is. I heard none of the questions. Are they well, in not questions? It's there's a website. Here it is. Have you seen it? There it is. Here's the website. That's the logo with the city. No, number six, I believe, is Colorado. Number six, I believe, is Colorado. There it number is, Karen. Th Number three is the New England Revolution. Number three? Oh, okay. The Revolution. That's New amazing. England. It's New England Revolution. Is New oh, England down there? New England, yes. Yeah, at the very end. Yeah, they play in the same place as the Patriots play. But right? it is on the list of cities? New it England. Is. New England below I'm, the I'm 10. Sorry, I'm, I'm just not seeing it below the, 10. To the far below right. 10. Oh, I don't even see that because I have you guys there. Well, I got to get rid of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my way, I'm man. I'm not taking it personally. No, not at all. Okay, so that's which one? Number three, New England, New England. Revolution. Okay, now I know that right. the city San Jose on the list, nothing represents San Jose here. Right. Wasn't it the San Jose Sharks? Yeah, there's Sharks. Yeah, and so LA, LA has Galaxy. Sharks is a hockey oh, yeah. team. Sharks, yeah. wait, wait. Oh. Hawks. Yeah, Sharks Hawks. yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's a you're right. hockey right. team, not a soccer team. Soccer oh. is, oh, I know. Earthquakes. This is it Earthquakes? Number one is Run DMC. <laughs> you think the thing is for Earthquake? There are San Jose Earthquakes. Is, it, it yeah, but, earthquakes but does that look like two would be the logo? No. No. That looks like burning buildings. Number four is Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So number two with the fire could be a reference to Chicago, but those that's not the skyline of Chicago. How do you know? Because I lived there for most of my life. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, it, we're, we're producing not... a category called Kyle. <laughs> I think yeah, seven calling. might be Dallas. Like I'm the writing Mustang that down now, Kyle. I'm guessing though, seven might be Dallas, like Mustangs or something. Is yeah. something written on number six? Is that like a what does it say in the gold? Is that a mosque something there? I, I no, think that's Colorado. Yeah, so, something identifying is scratched out. Yeah, Colorado is probably yeah. that like looks the Colorado, Colorado Rockies baseball team has a logo with the mountains. Oh, yeah, there's a Colorado. Okay, so six is Colorado. That's a guess though. Three is yeah, the only one I'm sure of. Three is New England. What about the worker guy is number one being Philadelphia for their steel workers? Or they look like firemen? Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh has the Steelers for football. Yeah, it's it's more Pittsburgh than Philly. Um, and they and they look more like, I don't know, a weird firemen. rock band or something. That's why that's why Kevin said it was run DMC. Yeah. Oh, is it electrician's like a- union? It looks like the Beastie Indeed. Boys to me. Yeah. <laughs> the right to pull. It's men in hats. It's men in hats. <laughs> so you know what? <laughs> Number three could be Washington, D.C. I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> it's a nice yeah. logo right. with a soccer ball. I thought it was That's New really England clever. Revolution. Well, what about five for New England Revolution? It's got an eagle. Oh, no. Very no. Patriotic. No, no, that's not it. Okay, number 10 is a scorpion. Yeah. So that's got Southwest. Somewhere, yeah. We got Austin Arizona or Santa Fe. Santa, Santa Fe. Fe scorpions. That's that it. That sounds good too. I vote for right. Santa Fe on there though. I don't see it. No, they're not. Well, that's so then Austin. It's got to be Austin or Houston then. Um, is that also considered? There's no, let me see. Is two like the New York metros or something? Oh, that's interesting. No, the New York Red Bulls is the team, at least now. It could have been different right. previously, but. But then there's also New York City. Number 10, is, is Houston or Dallas? Are they really like Scorpion City? Not in my mind, but I've never lived there, so I don't know. I've never been there, yeah. yeah I've been. Not like but... real desert. Well, yeah. and, not well, there's from... al- and there's always these things where a logo or a mascot starts out in one geographical location that makes sense, and then they move, and it makes no sense. The Utah so, but, but Jazz. These are the original teams, though. So these are before anybody would have moved. Ah. Oh, yeah, these yeah. original 10 teams. Thankfully, so the Scorpion should make sense somewhere. How about uh, Kansas City? I like mm. I Salt like, Lake. How about Salt Lake? Do they have scorpions? Well, Maybe. you have scorpions in California. Not in my backyard. I'm sure there's none ever, never been any. No. Never. No. Never. I live in my backyard all the time. I'm there right now. This is a facade. Um, now on number eight, is that whited out or is it supposed to be white like that? I think she covered up the name. I I think there's supposed to be something in there. Yeah. Damn. Like somebody's name. Or a clue, right? Does it get bigger for all of you too? Yeah, that's big. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that helps. I'm thinking that one could be Miami or Orlando. It looks kind of like that's a wave, huh? M-I-A-M. Okay. I think Miami because it seems like Miami would fit in that space bigger if it was just Miami. Is Miami on the list? I'm sorry, I'm having. Oh, is that a horse on the number seven? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's uh, um the uh at the airport in Colorado. We oh, have Colorado for fire. fire. Yeah, that's the that's horse that's at the Denver airport. Is there a Denver on here? There's a Colorado. So, 
six could be Seattle because that could be rain. Couldn't that okay. be Rainier? Let's let's yeah. let's uh, make a decision on what Susan said before we move on. Well, the reason that she brought up six is because we have Colorado for six. So we need to, if we're going to put Colorado for seven, we need to come up with something else for six. Well, but number six has ocean water and mountains, not just mountains. Hence oh, okay. Seattle. Can you Would, bring that up bigger? Could be the six? Colorado River. Make six bigger like you did. That was cool. Susan, are you guessing that that is a logo in the uh, Denver airport or do you know? I know it's the Dem Denver airport horses right out in front with the, with the glowing red eyes. Oh, they're a football team okay. at the Broncos. This might be reading too much into it, but I kind of like, so looking at that, there are two parts where it dips below. Although I guess that wouldn't be the name of the city. That would be the name of the team. So never mind. But I was going to look at the shape of the word. So but ignore that's me. ocean water, not river water. Don't you think? I mean, like there's the Colorado still, River. Maybe. It could be a river. Two Colorado rocks river. In it. Yeah, it could, it could be either. It okay, it looks like the choices again. Rocks in it, and it looks like it's flowing. Yeah, what it looks like a river. Let's see what our choices are again. City, uh, okay, do so we have seven horse with flames coming out of its little mouth? That's hate. That's hell. That's the soccer team from hell. Okay, <laughs> that's not on the list. Six. Number six is the flying pickles. <laughs> <laughs> and this okay. one, oh, that are those guys. Those are firemen, aren't they? Isn't that a fire hat? They're strippers. They're Chippendale yeah, strippers. It's, it's if you Chippendale, zoom in on number yeah. one, it, soccer it players like down under. Hat. Go through the others. Let's look at the logo since we got nice and close. Look at like a giant a M. Point. Look at like M. There's a pointy building behind it, like the Chrysler yeah. building of yeah. Chicago. But look at like that M. It, it might be Metro's. Metro's might be like the team name from New York. New York Metro's? Maybe. Sounds right to me. City? It looks sure. more like New York than anything else. It's either Chicago or New York. Well, well, so there was there was New York and then there was New York City. I would go New York City because the New York, New Jersey one, I would guess would be the Red Bulls. Right. Yeah. Okay, what else? This is a Three? really cool logo. Three is New England Revolution. You're sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It has a little TF. I've, I've seen the logo, but it's no, not, their logo looks different now, but it was, it is red, white, and blue like that. And uh -huh. look, and look how the stars are making like an orb and the, and like it's spinning a soccer around. Soccer ball. Yeah, it's, it's a soccer, soccer ball. ball. Yeah. That is really clever. And this it's is the Batman kind of team, as Kyle said. What the hell is that? Is that New York, Gotham? No, New York is the Red huh. Bulls. No. I have no idea. Cat, Catwoman, robots. All right, yeah, think about that, and then we'll go back Invaders to from Mars. Then we have this one, which is either Seattle or Colorado. No, num, num, which one is that? That's, that's Colorado. Six. Yeah, six but is if that's probably, Colorado, then seven counts. That's Colorado, Colorado Rapids. Oh, that's because there's more mountains, team. and I think if it were Seattle, it would just be one for Rainier. I think it, I do think it looks like Colorado, but seven, I swear, is the horse that's out in seven front is of, seven is is um. I want to say Dallas, but I'm not sure. It but could be. They have Susan, the, the Bronco is from Denver, and that's what you see at the airport, is a football team's logo. Yeah. Oh. Not oh. a soccer team. Seven, seven is Dallas. Okay. It's like Mustangs or something like that, but it's Dallas. All yeah. right. Eight. I think what Jim said. Miami or Orlando. Doesn't Miami fit like it would fit in that space at the top? Unless they'd have the title name of the team, which is Miami. What are they? Flames or Rainbow Flames? I don't know. What are those? The Kansas City Homos. <laughs> what? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Taking the it recording. even further. Oh, sorry. I have no. I have no contact. We with would them. like. To, we would like to say. We would like to apologize for the comment of our well-intentioned. <laughs> yes. Friend. We would like to. We would like to apologize. How about Orlando? Sure. I'm good with Orlando. Whatever. Okay. Next. This doesn't. Okay. And this is a gold plate. 
or something. What is oh, that? oh, gold plate. Isn't that Jehovah Witnesses? The, out, the outside looks like a rotary engine. Golden oh, plate, Detroit? Mormon, Susan. That's Los Angeles, Golden Gate Bridges. They or the Golden Gate they Bridges. They would call themselves the Golden Gate Bridges. Lake Bridges City. And that's panning for gold? Or if we want to go with Susan's Mormon reference, it could be Salt Lake City. It's no, it's it's Los Angeles. Do you know that to be so? Or are you guessing, Kevin? See the planets? No. The little stars no. and the circular stuff around? Wait, wait. Planets. Well, that Kevin, would be the galaxy. It that's could be the it, galaxy. That's the Los Angeles Kevin, galaxy. Are you, guess, are you guessing? No, that's Kevin? the Los Angeles. I'm not guessing. It's the Los Angeles he galaxy. Okay. He knows. LA, the team is the galaxy. I, I know that much. He knows. There you go. And that's the logo with the with the galaxy planets or whatever is spiral like the galaxy. It doesn't okay, look very galactic sense. to me, but whatever. And then we're back to Scorpion. What is those letters underneath the in the yellow? And they've been white. I can't out make too? it any bigger. I think they've they're, been they're blurred out too. Yeah. A scorpion. Maybe it's not a scorpion. Maybe it's a carburetor. <laughs> <laughs> is Detroit on there? <laughs> it's an eight cylinder. Look, it looks like it looks like the two Texas choices are the only Southwest things. Yeah, yeah. kind of. What is number five? Do we have a guess? Oh, I don't even remember looking at the it. Nazis. Washington, D.C. Right, it looks, yeah, it looks Nazi. Nazi. DC to me. Yeah, D.C. United. D.C.? D.C. Nazi. United, yeah. So is that on the list, though? I got it should be Washington, yeah. D.C. should be on there. I think it was. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah. D.C. Yeah. United. All right. And then, so ooh, we're ooh. still with. Mutiny and the crew are up uh, team names, but I don't know what their logos look like. So the first one might be Mutiny. I mean, the crew, rather. And the second one might be Mutiny. But I don't know what cities they're from. Where would the crew be from? Philadelphia crew? I don't know. Number one. I have, we seen, guess? I have seen that Scorpion logo before. My family, I have relatives in Phoenix, but Phoenix isn't in there, on there. Is there anything from Arizona in here? No. It could be moved to Phoenix, but it wasn't the original place. I don't know for the Scorpion, maybe Vancouver, something that's like, no, that doesn't make sense either. What are we missing? Which one do we not have? We don't have one yet. That's the guys in hats. We don't have four. What do we have for two? Batman. Two. For two, we have New York City. Okay. For three, we got three the New England. Four, we don't have Batman. Is there a bat team? Well, New York City is no, is Gotham too, right? Yeah. Is there anything is there more than one New York City option? There's I another there, there's another option that's New York, New Jersey, but I'm pretty sure I mean they're definitely the Red Bulls now. I don't know right. if that's changed over time, but I do know that. You well, guys, that's not a bad guess then. New York, I New think, Jersey. I think the Scorpion San Jose. San Jose's on the list. I think it's San Jose. Scorpions? Yeah, that makes sense too. I like it. And that's the thing, the only thing I thought I knew <laughs> that it was, there's nothing here from San Jose, but you know, it could be scorpions. It does sort of sound familiar. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be embarrassed. Neither does Karen and uh, Peggy that are all from this area. Wait, oh, it's not Jim's scorpions. in San Jose. They're... Don't you know, Jim? Oh, God. Can you go back to that? Number eight is the Bay soccer. City Rollers. The San Jose, uh, I think, aren't the earthquakes? The earthquakes are in That's San what Jose. I thought it was the earthquakes. Jim, what do you yeah. think? The, the earthquakes are definitely the current uh, San Jose soccer team, but could they have been something before? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Do you think you're almost ready for us to close out the room? We need a few more minutes if we could, please. What, what do we have for blank answers? What we have one blank. I don't, yeah, 10 could be, and it could be after the earthquake. They named themselves the earthquake, and I think this she's talking about early 90s before our big earthquake. So we have one blank and four blank. But Aaron, four? did you like an Aaron? Uh, Jamie was asking for a question. Did you get that answered? For Jamie, I that's, didn't. I didn't see. Who are but, we? Could four be an M? Who are we? Team asked for uh, help. Good. Yeah. I, I didn't see that. I'll go over there and find out what they're looking for. Okay. Maybe Montreal. Yeah. 
Are Why Canadians not? known for being bad at graphic design? <laughs> Yes. If you look at that, it also looks like the bat has its arms around two people. It's a really horrible logo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just people. I feel like it's too angry for Canada, though. Could it be an M? Another M? Minnesota. Oh, I'm seeing M's everywhere. Minnesota, right. Montreal? How about Are we Minnesota? like in Minnesota or Montreal? You're right. It is kind of mean looking for. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it could be Canada. <laughs> or Miami. Minnesota is more likely to have. Yeah, I go Minnesota. All right. All right, we'll go Minnesota on four. And we still don't have number one, which is the dudes. So, okay, so what do we got left over here? Austin? Do they look like Austin? Columbus? Could it be Columbus? That Ohio? is an iron kind of industrial it's more city. Midwest. Yeah, it's like a working, working, working town. I'm back. Yeah. Where'd you go? It just kind of my hung, the computer kind of hung up. Oh, I didn't know that. So Cincinnati we need... or Columbus, maybe. Yeah, Cincinnati. They're both working towns, but maybe. Did they put Columbus on here too? Because that would piss me off. That's too many Midwest cities. Oh, they did. Oh, dang. Okay, well, let's pick one for one. Again, a horrible logo. Oh, I know. Um, I would go maybe. with Columbus or Cincinnati or. Columbus or Cincinnati is fine. We we didn't pick Philadelphia for anything, did we? Not yet. Now, Philadelphia would have a like a like a a bell. They'd have a bell. A bell. Or yeah, didn't have they have like a team a flag, called the Liberty Bell? Something patriotic. What, what about have... this? Because the the Pittsburgh um, uh, colors are the same. Might they have chosen those as a kind of a branding choice? And even though it's a different town, it's a uh, Philadelphia, a Pennsylvania team. I'm closing up the room. Just so okay. you know. All right, we're going with Philadelphia for one. Then are we? Works for me. Yeah. Are we good? And for, what is four? Four. We've got Minnesota. Okay. I would have thought one was. Um, it just seems like Philadelphia would pick. Well, they the do kind of look like they could be coal miners or something, but I would think Philadelphia they do Liberty Bells, but maybe not. We're not getting many of these right. Let's just. Those wait. guys have Liberty Bells on their head. <laughs> We're doing better than Mystery Riders. Oh, I'm sorry Liberty about Bells. Mystery Riders team. I really thought those were simple. And, and, and Susan abandoned us on that one. I, I knew one question. Did you guys get Gamash with the. Well, we would have scored three points then. <laughs> did you know? Did you know Louise Penny? No. Oh. Well, see, I'm here on this one because I and wasn't on that one. And you knew what? The San Jose Sharks? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did this one better than the last one. Trust me, this, this I did better. We were able to reason things out. A local artist did it. Very clever. That was a lot more fun than I thought, Erin. Yeah, those are cool. My, my daughter would love those. We reasoned, we reasoned them out as best we could. And I think that we made some good... I, I, will, I will say I learned a few lessons listening to everybody um, in all the different rooms. One is I gave too many options. I shouldn't have put in all of the current teams. I mean, they went from 10 teams to 28 teams, and um, that was that was a lot. So there were really way too many options. And I should have taken into account the, the um, okay. unfamiliarity with the league uh, and, and not have a lot of not have modified the logos. I think it would have probably done, yeah, you know, been a little better yeah. off without having the modified logo. Oh, did, did they you, have the city you make the names out of them? Or yeah, just they... keep the names on them, then we would have done a lot better. I, I, I understand that now. I can't go back <laughs> and fix that. <laughs> Even if you had the name of the team but didn't have the name of the city, that would be right. fine. Right. Well, let's see how we did because I think our team did pretty good. So here we go. I'm going to bring up the screen that has all the answers. Yeah, I want to see it. So we have the Columbus crew as the first one. Columbus, I told you guys. That, that, uh, Columbus crew. Yeah, we wouldn't have known what Columbus, that was. Columbus in what, sit, what, what state? Columbus, they're Georgia? In they're in Ohio. Oh, Columbus, Ohio. I've yeah, heard I said, Columbus I thought it was. What's the story behind that? That's bizarre. That, that, logo, that logo is, keep in mind that this is back in 1996. And at the time, this was, these were, um, like I, I don't want to say hip hop, but it was they were it, it was kind of like a Beastie Boys type 
Um, wow, we actually said team. look at the Beastie Boys at Run DMC. Wow. And, and that's all it meant. It had nothing specific. They were, they were the crew. This is, this is our crew, and we're here to, you know, to fight, that kind of thing. Do, well, do these teams exist now, all these logos? The Revolution does. does. I'm going to, I'm, actually, none of these logos exist in this, uh, in this form. Um, I will bring up the, uh, the, ne uh, the next screen. will show how they, how they all currently exist. So that's the Columbus crew, the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars. Would you take just New York for the second one? No, no because there's no, another no, team. That, there's another team that's gotcha. New York. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, number three, the New England Revolution, the only team in the league who has never changed their logo, or the only of the original teams who has never changed their logo. Yeah, they're where five is, minutes from my house. You know what? Where, that is a beautiful logo. That's what I kept saying. Where is that in the list of possible answers? Oh, New All England. Right. There it is. New yep, England. Yep. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Mutiny. Well, I knew that. I, I can't tell you why they're they're a bat logo, but it's a Tampa Bay mutiny. We With thought it was They shouldn't be surprised. We thought it was Gotham too. To we thought, no, we thought Kansas it was City Mar too. Marauders. We thought we finally picked Minnesota for the um kind of face. DC United, we got that one. We have DC United. Yep. And that and that one definitely needed a modification because the location was right there in its name. Yeah. Colorado oh, that, Rapids. That's good. Yep. We got that. I, tried, I tried in modifying that to make sure I kept the water in with the mountains. I know there was a lot of conversation going on um, uh, about the mountains and Vancouver and, and other areas. Yeah. I the thought Dallas, it was the Dallas Mustangs. <laughs> the <laughs> Dallas so Burn. Now, the Dallas Burn story is that um, they moved, uh, they, well, they completely rebranded. It's a different, I'll, I'll give you another story in a minute when we get through these. Kansas City Wiz. Gee whiz. <laughs> Never have gotten that. The LA Galaxy, and people were talking about the spiral in the back that's supposed to represent the galaxy. We thought it was oh, a we thought it was gold pan, like your gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Kevin did say it looks like a galaxy. I said it's galaxy, it's LA. We got it. So yeah, we got it. And this I am embarrassed. That's the last one. That and I didn't San, know. San Jose Clash. Jim, San Jose Clash. Hey, the San Jose you. Clash actually moved to Houston. Um, okay, and then, never mind, Jim. You don't have to go. And then several <laughs> years later, uh, San Jose got a new team that was called the San Jose Earthquakes. I did yeah. hear people talking about the earthquake. Yeah, that was confusing. They got off to a shaky start, that team, I remember. Oh. <laughs> this is and, my worst score ever. <laughs> and, and worse than Lighthouses? Yes. Yep. <laughs> not, not for us. We for a non-bonus round. I apologize. Um, <laughs> so this was this is the 1996 first ten teams. These these ten teams logos now look like this. The Columbus Crew just this year changed their logo. Why does it say 96? That's the year they were they were created. They they oh. began in 96. There's a couple of teams that have that. The New York Red Bull, the Metro Stars became the New York Red Bull. And there's also a New York City FC. Are they sponsored by the? They are owned by Red Bull. Oh. New England Revolution, the Tampa Bay Mutiny, who folded in 2002 when the league was nearly going broke and closed up a couple of well, teams. because they have a stupid logo. DC <laughs> <laughs> United, several people discussed the... the I'll, I'll say the Nazi symbolism of their original yeah. logo. Yeah. This one here. And How they did they logo. not see that? They I know. Even their Jared logo. does have it a little bit. <laughs> because in 1996, they were doing wild things in the, in, in the league. And Trump wasn't around yet. Colorado Rapids have changed to a Shield logo. I like the old one better. I like the other one better, yeah. 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 And, and this one, if you take a close look at it, has no imagery of a Rapids. Yeah, I like the old logo a lot better. Yeah, way better. The Dallas Burn have gone to renaming themselves FC Dallas. And FC? they changed animals. What's FC? Football, Football club. Football club. That's stupid. Many, oh many, God. many, many American soccer teams, as they've been renaming themselves, have chosen instead of being soccer clubs to call themselves football clubs, even How though. How about you just avoid it completely? Soccer. Just be the oh Dallas Bulls or something. Sporting KC. The Dallas, Dallas bullshit. Dallas bullshit. <laughs> no. 
Sporting Kansas yeah. City Wiz became Sporting KC. As Where's they the K? What, what did those letters look like? SC. Um, their 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 full name is the Kansas City Sporting Club, oh. and, and their and their name was actually created with the intention of the owners eventually branching out and owning more than just a, a soccer team. Hmm. This is what happens when all the good names are already taken up by the other sports. I guess. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> LA Galaxy have removed their, their spiral. And Those are like the weirdest names I've ever seen. And the San Jose Clash mm -hmm. became the San Jose Earthquakes. Or the San Jose Earthquakes. Should the San Jose Clash that. stay or should they go? Should I, they I think stay they or should they go? They chose to go. They went to Houston. How come there's no earthquake like related anything in that logo? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't design it. <laughs> I didn't know, and I didn't know San Jose was like, you know, earthquake territory either. It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the Bay Area. Maybe that's a fault line going through the soccer ball. No, because it's straight, <laughs> straight to my house in Salinas. That's me down there at the bottom where the little trademark is. Maybe the blue and black stripes are the, the tectonic plates rubbing in each other in this line here <laughs> too straight <laughs> no i'm sorry but these people cannot make logos the only one that's any good is the new england revolution that's a the, san, the san andreas fault is pretty straight yeah it depends on how far away you are from it too yeah <laughs> and if anybody is interested in capturing this one here is the link to those original logos and mm. i can find my way yeah. back to that that's okay no i want it put it in there look at the main uh, url it's spikes seafood.com i'm i was wondering confusing. about that okay order let's some shrimp and learn about <laughs> soccer teams let's not look that. too let's not look too carefully it's a website that i manage and i just threw these Oh. Directly. Yeah, spike seafood is gonna go what is this <laughs> here we go spike and okay traffic. thank you i'm gonna put it so up that's the original uh 10 and i'll also give you a link to what their new yeah i want that too. what their current what their current lo logos look like if you noticed also i didn't point it out but the mls logo itself uh changed i'll throw this back up real quick Apparently, we can call ahead for pickup. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, so oh. the so the original MLS logo. I keep getting my self in the here. The original MLS logo looked like that. That looks nice. I like that one better too. And yeah. then they updated to that. Oh, the 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 um, the fans hate this logo. It was designed where they changed this color. Oh, awful. The, the red and white sides of this change for every team. You can pick, you can put your own colors into there. So like Columbus Ooh, Crew have a yellow and black, mm. um, but nobody likes it. I think we should go into business making these because they, they, they don't obviously know what they're doing. I have not very bad design. So, well, so otherwise, uh, it would be an incredibly popular sport. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's yeah. Logo well, that's doing a very popular. Have, in the have US, have a great logo. Well, the well Orioles let's, have let's, a great logo. Let's put it this way soccer went from 10 teams in 96. They compressed down to eight teams in 2002. They're now up to 28 teams and adding more. Um, the original expansion teams, and I did hear some people talking about Chicago and trying to figure out where it fits in there. Chicago didn't come into the league until two years after the beginning, they came in in 1998. Um, and they with the expansion they've gone from it used to cost um i think it was two million dollars that it cost chicago to buy into the league and the latest team to come in was austin and it cost them 500 million dollars well so value wise the team they, the league is growing um fans wise depending on where in the country they are they're growing in many places but places like here in the New York, New Jersey area, they have a little trouble pulling in fans because there's so many other professional sports in the area. But it's it's definitely a surviving league. I mean, it's it's you know it, it's growing. It's the Revolution well. plays in the same stadium as the New England Patriots. 
Yes, they did. Revolution rarely sells sells any half a, even half a place. Well, well, the design for that, and one of the things that that most of the stadiums for soccer are, are designed around is somewhere between twenty five and forty thousand fans. Depending on the on the stadium, I and know if they play in a football stadium, they're, yeah, they're, they're never going to fill. So they they're they don't e- they don't even depending on the depending on the teams that they're playing. Uh, I mean, Gillette Stadium is it still Gillette Stadium? Yes. Um, they they don't even they they don't even open the upper levels. Um, the the lower bowl gets sold, and if it's a team that they expect a large enough crowd, they'll open up the the second level. Um, and sell tickets, but you're right. They they don't have any expectation um, of selling out a stadium that size, and none of the league does. That's why the sta- the soccer specific stadiums that are built uh, tend to be 25,000 seats or less. Very interesting. I liked I liked doing this. This was actually kind of fun to be able to match them. So we're gonna do we're gonna do our um, scores. Good job, Aaron. But before I'm before we go to that, I'm gonna just do one quick thing that i'm yeah gillette is sixty five thousand, and that's where i got my um my covid uh vaccine oh here it is so richard saunders just sent this out i thought you might appreciate it <laughs> you all want one look at that my cat's cat face, would love Jasmine. that look at that face <laughs> my cat like, always face. jumps Jumps on one of the unoccupied chairs and just yeah, sits there looking ours. at us. But like look that. at that. Doesn't look like a little smudge yeah. underneath. He's got that's like the monkey that hit with a hammer, you know. Oh. <laughs> Whack a mole cat. No, no, there's there is a, a country where they have a table like that with a monkey in a cage and they oh, whack no. him in the head with a hammer a cat until he's and dead. We could, we and then they eat his brain. We could all live without knowing that. We can all no, it's live true. without Kevin, that Kevin, Kevin, that, the, ac- the actual that, story. Is far more disgusting than that. Okay, and let's not go. Let's, let's not, not go into it. Let's yeah. not become experts on that subject. Let's not reenact Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom, please. Okay, scores. So <laughs> let's start with. Um, let's start with the Cardinal Sinners. Six. <laughs> hey, how about? Um, oh, well, I was going to screen share so you could see me put these in. Ooh, cool. Because we're getting to that part where it's going to be, you know, really making a difference. Uh, Carmel Tardis Red Bull socks. Six. Okay, Myrtle, Murder of Trivialists. Uh, one. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I kind of like soccer. I just don't know oh, a lot of them. Okay, let's see if these two make a difference. Speak softly and carry a big mic. Four. Wow, who are we? One is the loneliest number. Oh, <laughs> you had two that got six. But like you one, make me sound one better. can't be lonely because he got two teams with one. Yeah. Or, or... What what which one did you get? Murder of Trivialists? We got Dallas. We got uh, New England. We got the fire breathing horse. <laughs> <laughs> with lightning legs. Well, yes. and I almost talked to the team out of it because I thought it was the Denver, the Denver horse with the fire coming out of its eyes and everything up in the airport. Like the Broncos, mm. yeah, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Oh man, so we are, we got some interesting scores here. Okay, so let's see if we can Fine, further divide everybody up, <laughs> and we're going to go to the next team, which is Adrian. Uh huh. Yes, Adrian, there she is. Let's see what Adrian has in store for us. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully I my team will do better than the last time I did one of these. And when Susan went in place for me and our, my team got it's one. It's always a good idea to plan the t- plan the category <laughs> around me because you well, know I'm going to be on your team. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Calgary Punch and Judy. Punch and Judy. Questions. Punch and Judy it is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think there's no more t- Punch and Judy questions could ever be written because I struggled to find the 10 that I did. No, I bet it's going to be Gumby and Putin. There you go. <laughs> well, hopefully it's it's quite a variety. So hopefully everybody's okay with it. So should uh, uh, Kelly, can you mute everybody and I'll unmute myself? Kelly or Isabella? Three, two, one. Thank you. So my category is, you have to figure it out. So I'm doing one of those because, you know, Mr. Category. 
Yeah. So the first one, let me just do it this way. The first question is this Netflix series premiered on October 19th, 2018, and is a paranormal pseudo documentary that portrays groups of people discussing their paranormal experiences. What is the name of this series? There we go. Oh, hey, that's weird. My Word document just disappeared when I did that. Ooh, paranormal. I know. <laughs> so I have to pull it back up again. All right. You're going to do a song. You have to go put song. it on my other screen. It'll be easier. All right. So number two, this medical drama ran on Fox TV from 2004 to 2012. The main character was unconventional and dependent upon pain medication. What was the series called? Number three is going to be to solve a, rub a rebus, which if you don't know what a rebus is, it's a bunch of pictures that you have to make into either a phrase or a word. And in this case, it's a single name. So I will, I, I try practice this today. So hopefully this works. I am going to drop that into the chat. So hopefully that works and you can open that up. And if you can't, um, I can always share my screen afterwards. So that's number three. Uh, try opening it up, make sure it's okay for everybody. Works for me. Awesome. Something I've never tried before. So wanted to see how that works. Number four is this ultra low cost airline has headquarters in Miramar, Florida. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And it flies to 83 destinations and throughout the US, Caribbean, and Latin America. What is the name of this airline? And I notice there's a little grammatical error, but it doesn't matter. I will put it in there anyway. Number five, this word literally means drawing with light based on etymology and has apparently coined and was apparently coined by the British scientist, Sir John Herschel in 1839. What is this word? And number six, the disinformation dozen the dozen people found to have generated two thirds of anti-vaccination content on Facebook and Twitter has been in the news a lot recently. Which of the following people is one of the disinformation dozen? And it's a multiple choice. There's four people and I'll put it in the chat so you can follow along. First is Andrew Wakefield. B is Del Bigtree, C is Christiane Northrup, and D is Gwyneth Paltrow, and only one of those is considered to be the disinformation dozen. Ooh. Number seven, this goddess is the personification of a well-known river and is worshipped as the goddess of purification and forgiveness. She is depicted as a beautiful woman and is seen as the mother of humanity. She is often illustrated riding a divine creature called a Makara or Makara, not sure which. What is the name of this goddess? Number eight. This man gained international attention when he and his wife were charged, then convicted, then found out guilty, and so on of falling to provide the necessaries of life for the death of his toddler son who died of bacterial meningitis. The parents used herbal remedies, including homemade smoothies containing hot pepper, ginger root, horseradish, onion, other alternative therapies, and a religious blessing. What is this man's name? And again, this is an ABCD. So A is um, Emil Radita, Alvin Serrano, Matthew Taylor Coleman, and David Stefan. Number nine. This settlement is an ancient, oh boy, <laughs> I'm have, gonna have a Susan moment here, hopefully not. Uh, hey. <laughs> 
uh, an ancient uh, Hima, 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 Hima rite site within Yemen. Its name is mentioned in several ancient texts. What is the name of this settlement? And again, I have multiple choice. I don't see the word Washington in there anywhere. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, him, him, I, uh, right. Okay. All right. And so the first one A is Persepolis, B, Karnak, C, Zafar, D, Troy. And I probably messed up those names too. All right. Number 10, last one. Is on February 22nd, 2021, it was reported that in the US COVID-19 had claimed a large number of deaths. That same number of deaths was reported in Brazil in June 20th, 2021. On December 17th, 2020, it was reported that Europe had passed this number. What is this number? And there's no plus or minus. It's just a very straightforward number. Hopefully you get my meaning there. So, you know, it's not going to be like 258. You know, it's not going to be something like that. It'll be just a nice, easy number. And of course, the bonus is what is the theme of this question? And if you get one wrong, you can replace it. So max 10 points. So what is the theme is of all the questions, if you can figure it out? And I don't expect everybody to figure it out, and you'll see why later on. But if you do, well done. That's it. Any questions? Oh, gee. <laughs> Susan, you better get this. That's all I can say. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No pressure. Okay. I know a couple. Awesome. That's about it. Hopefully not the same ones everybody else knows. Um, okay, you guys, ready? Play nice. <laughs> You're awful quiet. I don't know if that's awful is the right word. You're very quiet. Very suspicious of them now. Okay, so I know. I'm going to go Susan. to the room that you would normally be in, which is a murder of trivialists. That's correct, yes. I'll see you in a little bit. You have your powers, right. right? I do. I have the same smile as Caspian. Um, he has my smile. Does he ever smile? Do we know? Oh, my. Okay, so I know number eight. Number eight. I got eight. How do you guys normally do this? Do you do one at a time or do you? We usually and go one by one, but go ahead. Tell us what eight. Oh, it's Steven. What's eight? And Adrian is going to be giggling. It's Stevens because because Adrian wrote the Wikipedia page and I proofread the damn thing, so I know it's Steven. So it's D. <laughs> Whatever that Stephen is. David Stephen. Yeah, that's him. Stephen. David yeah, Stephen. Whatever his name. That's. Okay, so the next, the other one I I think I might know is the disinformation dozen. But boy, she's gave some hard ones in there because those are, you can make the argument about any, but Wakefield is the biggest of them, but he's not really. But he's I, not the just. Wakefield, Wakefield has been really quiet lately. Well, and he's also his, his yeah. um, you know, his tweeter, tweeters and stuff has all been taken away from him. So they've been giving out information yeah, yeah. to Wakefield, but I don't think it's Wakefield. Yeah. It's it's Gwyneth Paltrow. I don't think it's Gwyneth I Paltrow because I think she's not. I think she's. I'm I pretty sure she's it's a Del Big Tree. player. I'm almost positive it's Del Big Tree. Okay. Oh really? You know, it's yeah. definitely like Russia. I was thinking Christina. She is a. She is a. We wrote her Wikipedia page and we wrote the Del Big Tree Wikipedia page and Del Big Tree I think is actually more than. Uh, Christian, we wrote Dell's uh, Wikipedia page like six months before we did Christian's, and I think it's Dell. So I would okay. pick like whoever's getting funded by the Russians, because no, I don't think they're even being funded by the Russians. Like they're all just ridiculously nuts. Huh. Oh, I got to put like, Gal in her room here. Let me see where's Gal. Gal goes. I to think they're getting funded by the Russians. They don't. They don't need okay. <laughs> number one. Anybody know Netflix? No idea on Netflix. Um, let me look real quick. I assigned Gail to the cardial centers. Okay. So the first one was Netflix. What was it again? Netflix series premiered in October of 
19 of 2018 and it's a paranormal pseudo oh that would be um wait what's the name of this do I, we might have written this wikipedia groups of people discussing their paranormal experiences i wonder if the theme is these are pages written by wikipedia uh the gsw project oh yes yes okay so <laughs> so that's why she said i better do well um the netflix series premiere okay what did we do we wrote what the health this isn't what the health let me see let's come back to that let's come okay back okay number uh, two low cost is airline Oh, number, number two is house. Two is medical drama. Yeah, that's house. Run on house. That's house. I, I okay, agree. well, we didn't write that page, so I guess it can't be Wikipedia pages of because we didn't do house. Okay. And I don't, see number I don't three. have three. Three is that. Oh, you're supposed to save it. Um, I can't Mo, open it. Yeah, I got it. I got it, but I don't know what it means. It's Mo from the Three Stooges, Ham, and then the Caduceus. What's a caduceus? Uh, Mercury staff with the two snakes. It's a medical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Where did is there I? There another name for the caduceus? Because it goes Mo, Ham, something. Let's see. Mo, Ham, caduceus. Is... I think this went to my desktop. Let me, let me see. Oops. I can't minimize my screen while I'm in. Oh, recording. So here it is. Solve this. Okay. Do you guys want me screen sh um, screen share? Screen share. Yes. Yeah, screen share. Okay. Hold on. Let me get move back to here again. Yeah, it is. Mo Howard. Mo. Ham. Mo. Mohammed. Mohammed. Oh, man. Oh, oh. As in medical. Oh. Oh, That's okay. it. Mohammed. 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 Yeah. Oh, Mohammed. very good. Got good it. job, Jane. Okay, Mohammed. Mohammed. And then let's see with it. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's Four. harder with more screens. Uh, okay, ultra low airline. The Peppy Jet Blue headquarters in Maramia, Florida, flies 83 destinations throughout the U.S., Caribbean, and Latin America. Could it be Jet Blue? It's the name of this airline. It was Spirit, Could it be Southwestern. No, it's not Southwest. Could it be Virgin? For no, it's not so, Ryanair. <laughs> no, it's not Ryanair. Could it be Jet Blue? Jet Blue sounds right. It'll it's probably make sense when we get all these answers. Yeah. Mohammed yeah. Jet. Let's put, let's put Jet Blue as a working title and come back to that one. Five is photography. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Canon. I think. Coined by John Herschel, photography. Wasn't he a, a, an astronomer? He was what an was? astronomer. Yeah. But no, look at the year though. 1839. This is like the astronomer's grandchildren. Oh. Yeah. 1839. So that's very early. You know, it's the birth of the. Well, the earlier Herschels were in the, um, well, they were in the 18, <clears throat> early 1800s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Age of Wonder. Great book. Um, okay. We did six. Yeah, big tree. Goddess. This goddess is a no. personification of a well known river and is worshiped as the goddess of purification and forgiveness. She's depicted as a beautiful woman and is seen as the mother of humanity. She's often illustrated riding a divine creature called 
Makara? What's the name of the goddess? I have no idea. Is it India? The river in India? The Ganges, you mean? Oh, Where they all go Gange, and bathe? Ganges? Let me read that again, because that's a Wikipedia page Adrian wrote. It was Lady Ganja. Lady Ganja? The, of the lake? Lady Ganji. Gan yeah, the Ganges is the river. Okay, she wrote a Wikipedia Isn't page it called the river Lady purification? Ganges. So, yeah. if that's okay. an answer, I, I'm that's feeling... Sounds good. So, Mohammed. Oh, oh, you got it. Adrian wrote the Wikipedia page for a woman named Yasmin Mohammed. She wrote a Wikipedia page for spirit photography. She wrote a Wikipedia page for David Stephen. She wrote the Wikipedia page for Lady Ganja. Ganja. Ganges. Okay, so let me think. I know what her Wikipedia pages she's written. She also wrote one on Haunted House. So the airline is Spirit then? Or Virgin? Spirit, Spirit, Spirit Airlines. I bet it is. I bet it's Spirit Airlines. Spirit photography. And That's she wrote a Wikipedia page. Well, Haunted House. Is there a Haunted House? Is there, could that fit number one? Haunted House. Yeah. We'll put on. She also wrote, you know what? She wrote 10 Wikipedia pages. Um, Because I just wrote this well if, they, if it takes two to say a name well they're not all going to be listed okay so let me think well, maybe number did. one is just called haunted haunted and then house Most haunted? the second one is house haunted Most haunted, house. Muhammad. haunted. Spirit Muhammad. Photography. spirit photography what was six number six okay what is Del it about? Tree. is b Del big tree Del big tree i didn't know she wrote that she let me look at that name of people again because and then number seven is a goddess lady i put ganja but that can't be right it's that's ganja. She, lady somebody ganja. on our team wrote you know what kelly wrote the wikipedia page for christian northup and one of my other editors wrote the dell big tree page so neither of those, none of those um, Adrian wrote. So okay. Andrew Wakefield. No, she didn't write it. Um, it we didn't, we didn't write Wakefield's page. It's already been written. Could uh, it be Gwyneth Paltrow though? No, it was already written, but Rob, Rob made a lot of additions to it. He wrote, he rewrote the Goop page and, and some other things, but I'm almost positive. It's Del Big Tree on this list. So, and that is a page GSW wrote. So let me think about this ultra low cost airline. You think it's Spirit? Spirit. Spirit Airlines. Okay. Yep. Spirit. So Spirit Photography. That makes total sense. Haunted and, House, Muhammad, Spirit Photography. Okay. She, and we have Del Big Tree. Lady Ganja. Lady Ganja. Yeah. Ganji. Ganja. Well, you're going to have to decide. It's, it's how we G-A-N-G-A. -G -A, how we pronounce it. I don't know. Well, that's the, I mean, ganja means marijuana. Well, it's the river. It's a lady. It's the river the, is Ganges. Ganges. Okay, so maybe that's it's how. Lady Ganges. G-A-N-G-E-S. Yes. Yes. That's what we okay. have. Lady Ganges. I thought, I thought you were trying to say that the, the name of the person was not just the name of the river. It is exactly oh. the name of the river. Okay. Lady Ganges. They? Okay, okay, nine. Okay. Is this settlement okay. is an ancient Hammerite site within Yemen? And its name's it's mentioned in other... several. It's what? Yeah, by process of elimination, Zafar is. Everything else is not in Yemen. I don't remember the choices. Oh, but okay. Persepolis is no. in Persia and. Karnak is in Egypt, and what was Zafar? Troy is in Greece. Zafar. Zafar. Um, Zafar. Yeah. I think it's Zafar because I think that's a Wikipedia page that Adrian wrote. Well, by okay. process of elimination, the other three are not in Yemen. Zafar. Okay, so Zafar. could it be Zafar? I think I know. she wrote the Wikipedia page for a woman whose last name is Zafar. Z-A-F-A-R. 
Yeah, and I can't think okay. of it because it was an unusual name. What okay, number it? 10 is the yeah. number. I think it's half million. That's what I thought too, 500,000. Yeah. What does that got to do with Wikipedia? 500,000. The GSOW project, Wikipedia, that doesn't make any sense at all. Um, we, we, we're we way beyond 500,000 page views. We haven't written 500,000 pages. Oh, Adrian's what coming the, back. What was the question and answer for eight? Eight was David Stephen. He's a it was the person who um, didn't give his okay, child okay, any right. medical care. The kid died. So, Ken, you think it's five hundred thousand? Yep. That we we hit five hundred thousand. Yes, 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 because it was very shortly after that that we hit six hundred thousand, and now we're at about six hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah, because, more than that, aren't we? because we've got but because you know we there was a big lull between april we started vaccinating in april and then april may june were or at least may and june were awesome and mm -hmm. now we're back up so the bonus so if we get one of these wrong which i don't think any of these are wrong we could we could replace it with the fact that it's it's gsow related but i i can't think of why five hundred thousand would be related Yes, OW. 500,000 views, 500,000. We're at uh, 94 million views. Huh. Now, she herself, Adrian, might have hit 500,000 views, but I thought Maybe she she's over got 500,000 views. Over 500,000. Yeah, I would think she'd have more because Haunted House, no, Haunted House is probably about 300,000 page views. Adrian, can you give me the power? She got booted. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so she's supposed to be in this room, which is, what room are we in? Carmel? No. Murder? Let's murder. And I right there, her we're murder of, of Tripoli. How do I give her her powers back? When she comes in here, I can give them back to her. Oops, that's not her. Hey, did you what? hit the wrong button? No, I didn't. It just, it crashed. I just had uh, a... You know, one of those Zoom crashes that can happen occasionally. And I can't give you your powers back until we get into occasionally. The That's they fine. happen occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought they were at five minute intervals. It doesn't happen here very often, but uh, it it happened. I was in with Kelly's room, and suddenly I was gone, and then I'm like, "Hey, what happened?" It took me a while this, to figure this out. This is a going. really good category, Adrian. This is mean. Did you, Did you figure it out? Yeah. Oh yeah. We think so. Yeah. Yeah. And we, so, most people are finished, so if you could call everybody back. Okay, I, I have finished. to leave the room before I can do that. You guys okay. all okay with everything we have? Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm leaving the room, and then I'll recall everybody. Good job, Adrian. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Okay, never mind. Susan, I hope you figured out the theme. Yes, I did. I hope you did, too. She did. We Scored think us we some did. major points. I'm going to stat Badger to see if our answers are right now. <laughs> and only you get that, it. Susan. <laughs> the pressure's on. I think we did quite well. I would hope you did, Susan. But I bet you this is really mean to a lot of other people. About freaking time, there's something I know. Yes. I got the guy right who I wasn't sure about. Yay. Oh, I know I was right. And that was, that was like, you better have gotten as soon as I saw one, that, Susan. I said, there is something here. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got one wrong, but we got the theme right. But you know, I talked myself out of a lot of things. So, yeah. I mean, I was like, well, I still don't get number 10. You don't so, get number 10? Well, we'll see. We'll You'll see, see. see if they come back. Yeah. <laughs> That one was sort of like a toss of a coin, number 10. So this, you know. <laughs> Is it Bill and Joel? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I was, I was just guessing. So if we're playing music and we're going to post this on YouTube, we are exposing ourselves. Ooh. Yes. Copyright stuff. Yes. They blank it out. Thank you, Karen. Well, every, it, everybody just sing it instead. There you I don't go. know, Billy Joel. Except YouTube does have a lot of licensing agreements for music. 
cool. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I used um, Stevie Wonder's, um, you know, his, his song regarding what happens when you believe in superstition. At, yeah. the end of, at the end of my presentation uh, several times, and the last time I did it was at Recovering from Religion, and it got, it got flagged. But what happened was they just add the information about where this comes from and what actual well, video copyright. was done. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. you got to be careful. Yeah. If you make a live thing. video on Facebook from your car and you have music on the radio, sometimes I mute the whole thing out. That's silly. It is. So I hope friends. Kelly's going to be posting the, the links to these as they come up. Kelly? <laughs> Or me? Hi. Well, you're going to be talking about what's going up. Yeah. Unless, well, unless, I'll unless just, you're going to do it. I'll just show a big summary at the end. So okay. 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 Yeah. But uh, so it sounds like you did. Wait, was this up. really confusing to everybody? The theme was Gilligan's Island. <laughs> just like know, last time when we didn't get it. The so Rob, you should have got this too. You have. It no was excuse. lighthouses on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> oh, that's what I missed. Jim. Jim's also involved and. Re Romero oh. should know these. There we go. If they're paying attention, there's an awful lot of information though that comes through that GSOW. You know, there's a lot that goes through. So I probably wouldn't have remembered most of this, but uh, I'm pleased to see that some people did. And even if you didn't catch on to the theme, I was really pleased that people were able to get a lot of these. So okay, uh, that, that was my point. I wanted people to still be able to get them. I'm excited. So the first one, the Netflix series is Haunted. So I've got it, I'm oh. putting it in there. So, you know, you've put it down at the, uh, I just, yeah. can you see it? It's italicized on mine, but it's not coming up italicized. I see so, it. You see everyone I've never it? heard of this series. Has anybody heard of this? Series? No. I've no. never heard of it either. So don't worry about it. Uh, but it goes apparently with the it's next very answer. popular. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in its fourth, it's going on its fourth season. So. All right. Uh, we guessed it based on the answer to number two. Awesome. Right. Same. Yeah. And uh, so the medical drama, of course, is House. So you put those together and we've got, Haunted, haunted house. house. All right. Next one, the Rebus. I think everybody is pretty easy, right? This one was really hard. And I'll just no, explain why it? later to, to come hard. up with something to come up with because I needed this name. And it's spelled so many different ways that I knew that the pedants that were here might <laughs> argue. Well, with yeah, me. Surely not. <laughs> oh, now, who are you talking about? Not us. <laughs> I resemble that comment. Yeah. <laughs> So I did something that would be really easy. And uh, so it's Mohammed. And some of you are, were discussing how you didn't see at first how that last bit was med. Well, it's the Medical Society logo. Jane got it. It, so, was, it was Bob and yeah. Jane were talking. It just popped out of their mouth. Most people got the Mo and the Hamid or the ham part. So that, that was, was very good. good. And uh, the ultra low cost airline is one I'd never heard of, but it worked with my clues. So there you go. It is spirit. Yeah. Yes. Good and, job, um, guys. Some people had this wrong. Hopefully, they changed it beforehand if they figured out. What... Bonded House Muhammad Spirit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, and this Spirit's one, not flying a whole lot right now. This one is literally, it's Greek for, if you translate Greek, it's photography. Apparently, yep. the base word. Good job, Leonard. Oh. Spirit photography. <laughs> so how, it's does, spirit how, photography. Does, how does Muhammad work in with it? Oh, you'll see. It will. It'll make us. Uh, uh, yeah, I figured out mm. the theme, I think. Uh, cool nope <laughs> well all right so the, the next one i don't I, a few people got this one wrong because yeah, i, I, I went back and forth on this so much because it didn't quite fit yes and uh so this one is christian north oh right. damn, it, damn it damn it i swear <laughs> i thought it was Bill big tree but now that you say it now i remember that's right that was yours too yeah. Well, this, yeah, this came up on a, I can't remember if it came up on trivia or if I just remember it from like Facebook things being shared on your page, Susan. Yeah. Somebody's paying attention. Thank Somebody's you. Somebody's paying Facebook attention. Page. That's right. And, and I mean, all these people are kind of. I swear that was evil. Kelly. Evil. They're evil. Yes. No, yes. I did Simone. You did Simone. That's right. Yeah. So, so these the are all your pages, Adrian? You figured it out. Yes, they are. Let it be it, didn't uh, Wakefield used to pitch for the Red Sox? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I didn't do a page on the other three, just Christiane Northrup. 
And the next one, the goddess, uh, there's lots of really good discussions about this. And most people ended up at India at some point, and it is the Ganges River. And Gange. the Ganges, it, when you're in India, is actually called the Ganga River. And it's Lady Ganga was the page I did. Wow. And the goddess is Ganga. Uh, mm -hmm. And was that related to Ken Fraser's daughter? Yes. Yes. That's how and I got it. Well done. Wow. Good job, Leonard. <laughs> And we spelled it right too. We went back and forth between ganja and ganja. I can't spell for crap, but we knew. I can't even. We knew the right country. Yeah. And we had the right country. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so it was Mississippi. One, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this next one, I, I did do this Wikipedia page. It was a very emotional page for me to do it was a very big page there's a Recently. lot going on yeah and it's still going on the court cases are still going on it's he the kid died in 2012 and it's still in the courts and it's um it, it things have gotten overturned several times and yeah it's very complicated and it is oh i guess i'm hit the wrong button it is david stefan yeah uh, yeah we uh, had one of the, those in my hometown so is that d yeah that is d thank yeah. you thank you karen we had one of those in my hometown in 2000. Yeah. And the guy uh, and his family wouldn't feed the baby and wouldn't give it any medicine and it died. They just kept praying. Yep. It and made somebody, news. It's sadly happening all yeah. over the world. And well, it, to be honest, all those other names, ABC uh, and A, B, and C, some people recognized that those are names that have been in the news and they also have killed, but they murdered their kids. That wasn't just uh, uh, an accidental, accidental death. Isn't David and his and wife still, still doing different. like, didn't you say they're out doing like homeopathic? Talks, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They, they run a company called stuff. True Hope. And they sell vitamins, uh, or actually they sell cure-alls, <laughs> really. They, they, they for mental health, particularly that her mother, their mother died, uh, or actually committed suicide, had bipolar disorder. And so that that's how they developed True Hope to try and help stop bipolar. So they claim that their supplements cure uh, mental health issues like schizophrenia and bipolar. And they, the Canadian government shut them down a couple of times, but they just, yeah, they keep There's going. There's people who think these are heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just, when, when you allow your kid to die, you should kind of be invalidated from any sort of healing think, remedies. But no. Re read the page. It's, it's pretty astonishing, actually, the, some of the stuff that went on. It's, it's very interesting and, uh, and sad. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure what's happening, too, is the loss of a child. I just can't imagine it. So I, I imagine that David Stefan and his wife are just digging their heels in because to say that they were culpable means they killed their kid. And could you imagine that guilt? It would be very, very hard to deal with. So I do have a little bit of, you know, I, I understand why they're doing what they're doing still, but it's still it's dangerous is the bottom line. Well, it's just like the anti-vaxxers who, um, who uh, die or their relatives die and they say, well, it's still a hoax or something. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. they, they, they just dig in their heels. That's right. Yeah. Adrian, you're just a very nice person. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one, number nine, the settlement is Zafar. All yes. those other ones are not in Yemen. So you should be able to try and figure it out if you're good with geography. I would not have been, but hey, I know there's some of you that are very good. What, what and, page did, did you do a page on that? Yep. Well, not well, the place that it's a person's name. But we checked and Karnak, the answer that Karnak gave was Karnak. Never Karnak. mind. The oh, amazing Karnak. I, yes, like uh, Johnny it Carson. Took me a Johnny Carson. Karnak, the magnificent. It, yeah. <laughs> no, so, Karnak gave the question. That's right, the right, answer. right, right. <laughs> yeah. What is C? <laughs> so, 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 Adrian, what was the Zafar that you write about? Uh, her name was Sabra Zafar. Oh, who was she? You'll, uh, well, she's, uh, she wrote a novel about her life. So she was born in Pakistan, raised in the United Arab Emirates, was married off at a young age to a Canadian, mm. and she mm. escaped from mm. marriage. It was an abusive marriage. So she escaped. I read her book, thought, wow, this is great. Looked at her Wikipedia page, went, oh, it's like a paragraph. Not even, it was a sentence. And so I made it a full Hopefully page because she's work. won all kinds of amazing awards in Canada. She's won a Canadian Immigrant Award. She's you know, she's like a very, very notable person in this Canada. This is your now. most recent page, right? My, my most recent page, yes. Just came out. Yeah. 
So on uh, February twenty uh, second. So what is what number is in common with all three of these dates? It's when the U.S., Europe, and Brazil crossed the five hundred thousand threshold. Job, all right. Good so job. Good job. So half a million. My team. So how, how how is that? Good call, Gail. Connected with what you did, Adrian. I'll yeah, that's. You. She's going to show us. Is that, is, that the, is that the number of page views so far? So as of today, this is the number of page views that I have. Oh, my oh, that's, that's what I said. We number, actually guessed that views. too. We guessed it was your page views. Yes. Yeah. And so that's the, the names. That, yeah. So there's the names at the bottom. Those are all the pages that I've done. Very and, good. and I thought mm. that what a way to celebrate this sort of what a amazing. really good idea i thought it was i was so excited about this coming i, I predicted it was going to happen this week but that it happened today was really really cool oh, that is really exciting um, i thought so, you did 10 pages you've only done seven yeah and it's just <laughs> come on adrian what i mean only seven no no only i thought there was million. 10 no no i mean i thought there was 10 no. and there are seven i'm slow remember but to I'm get slow. half a million to get half a million views on just seven, seven days seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is spectacular. Good. Good. Yeah. It's yeah. like Isabella on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what is she up to? What is she up to now? Yeah, Isabella. I have to what are the numbers? Oh, uh, Adrian, but can we I finish just... celebrating Adrian's achievement before we switch the subject? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. Congratulations. Thank you. I just wanted to point out, though, that the very first page that I did is the most prolific, which is so surprising to me. It's Haunted Houses. And uh, that's, that's not surprising. Yeah, that's not surprising. It, it is in some ways because it was kind of going along slowly. But then recently, it ended up on a uh, I Learned Today at the top of the I learned today and read it, I learned today that carbon monoxide poisoning can make you think you live in a haunted house and they linked to my Wikipedia page. Oh. And I was getting like 50,000 views a day for a week. So and, interesting. And my, my fingers killing me from all that clicking. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. So anyway, thanks very for good. celebrating with me. I was very excited. I thought when, really I, cool. when I first joined this organization with met Susan, I never would have thought that a, a half a million people would look at my Well, you're in her room writing. right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you moved in. Yeah, we're, we're real good <laughs> Yeah, friends. Richard's here too. Half a million people have looked at your work. Yeah, it's that amazing. That is freaking amazing. And they're quoting you. Yeah, yeah. And to, put it cool. in, to put it in context, as I've said in some of the presentations I've done about GSOW, an average nonfiction book sells 3,500 copies in its lifetime. So think and, about and yeah, my numbers wow. are nothing like Rob's or some other people. Like they're, they're off the charts. It's amazing. But I'm still pretty excited. <laughs> so. no, That's I'm amazing. <laughs> That's a great Absolutely number. Exciting. And it's very cool very that it cool. hit the 500,000 yeah, like the time that's a lot that you hit for, you know? today. Yeah. It sounds like a report for the Skip It's Own podcast. I mean, 500,000 is an awful lot of views. Yeah, it's a, a lot of 500,000 500, for just seven pages. It's huge. That's stunning. Pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. And the that's other a big record. one. The other That's big one record. is Christian uh, Christian Northrup, and she right now has 84, 85,000 views, just under 85,000. And I just published that in February of this year. So wow. Wow. it was just before she got really famous with the disinformation dozen stuff. And then, so it was really well-timed. It was lucky. I thought it was mm. Del Big Tree. No, we wrote Del Big Tree's page. And that was a, that really threw me because I swear it was Del Big Tree was the one that's a disinformation dozen. Yeah, no. And I swear that Kelly had written um, Christian, but it's. <sighs> if I had realized it was um, Adrian's pages, I would have known it was um, Christian. Uh, but uh, Kelly, just, how is Simone doing? Yeah, we, we didn't have she enough right to, to get the to get the pattern. She's evil and awful. But how how about how was her views? Oh, her views? I'm not sure. She's like bringing up court cases and stuff. So I'm sure they've gone up a lot because she has a movie now that she's showing and she's touring. It's terrible. This she's is Simone word. Gold. I hate her. <laughs> now, not inviting her to your house for dinner? Hey, what do no. you think? No. <laughs> Unless dinner is poison. Oh. I'm serious. This is an awful human being. Just like Chris, Christian. Yeah, Fantastic, um, Adrian. Once I 
kind of figured it out, then it made it much easier. We, mm. but boy, yeah, if was, you hadn't figured it uh, out, Susan, seeing how you kind of oversee everything. <laughs> Though I, I know I, it's hard to remember everybody, but you know, you've got a lot I'm, of people. I'm really, I'm just like, really kicking that? myself, Adrian, because I, I, you know, when you post stuff, does anybody want to review this? I reviewed so many of those pages. You, you were right in there. So but, I thought, thought for but sure. But no, I don't remember the that. names. Like I, I didn't uh, remember Zafar was a person's name. It didn't yeah. click at all. And, yeah. and, and, yeah. and, the, and the guy who killed this guy, I don't remember those things. I yeah. like so, text yeah. Adrian every time Christian comes up in like stuff yeah. that I'm doing like for other stuff. So as soon as I saw that one, I was like, "Ooh, I know this." I could see you when I was reading them out. Go. <laughs> I know what this oh, is. Oh, what, what did you do with what did you do with Muhammad? Yasmin Muhammad. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you said yeah. that. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. So the speaker. person's okay. name, and she, she she is another one. She was actually born in Canada in Vancouver, yeah. and she was married off at a young age as well to an Al Qaeda yeah. operative, and she didn't know he was an Al Qaeda operative. Yeah. And he ended up, they think he's dead, but they're not sure. But he was he was sentenced to life in prison in an Egyptian prison. And apparently most people don't live past 15 years. So she spoke to you guys. She was supposed to. She oh, it didn't happen. Yet. OK, she's so come she, to our book club, which she's amazing. Oh, neat. She yeah. spoke. She spoke for recovering from religion some months ago, and she's going to do it again. It might be even this coming week or maybe. Oh, next. nice. Yeah, yeah she's, I've never heard her, heard her speak. She's really a good speaker. She's very engaging. She's very warm. Uh, I, I, I really, and that's how, same thing is we were going to invite her to speak and Susan saw she didn't have a Wikipedia page. So she went, Adrian, you better write her Wikipedia page. So I did. I said that. I don't remember you did. that. And I'll take credit for it. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you guys know when it gets close to a million views for Adrian and she does her next seven pages, just saying <laughs> her name comes up in trivia. You better be paying attention. <laughs> and Romero's going to finish his training here soon. So, right, Romero? Awesome. We'll get there. Yeah. Did, I, did I get it? Did I hear a yes from Romero? Yeah. You know what? You know who's got the most views of all Wikipedia pages that have been written by GSOW that's on the screen? Jim Preston. Wow. What, what's, his, what's, what's his top page? What's your top page, Jim? Do you know? It's. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. It's some, it's some, it, isn't it something Montauk related to project. Deptoid? It's the Montauk Project. Oh, uh, yeah. that's cool. Which, um, Kelly, are you still there? Can you pull it up? See I, 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 I used that as a trivia question a, a few weeks ago. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> He's got how many? Well, he wrote it ages ago, too. Which and I, and I, I didn't write the whole page, I just added something you to it. He wrote it enough to because, be uh, Skeptoid did something about that. So Montauk Project is, that, there he is. No, oh. That is a question. 2,133,000. Wow. wow. And that's for Holy three moly. pages, that's impressive. So my, my, my largest number is that from one page. Go to Rob real quick. I hate to cover up all this time because I- Oh wow, almost 2 million, cool. One page, Deborah Feldman, who is the author of Unorthodox, An Escape from Hasidic Judaism, which made a Netflix series, Unorthodox, which is why it became a, a popular thing. So it's like hit and miss, depending what, this you know. This is Rob, 26 pages. Just a few pages. Just a few pages. He's rather, and he helps us, is really you know, we finished big. our page to edit further. So he's, he's right in there. Look at he's that. Right. Amazing. I want to see Leon's Leon's number. Leon, like every other week, is writing some page. Well, um, he, what about the guy from us, uh, Wyatt? He writes one every day. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah the right. only thing with that though is because it's South Africa. Africa. I don't think it gets a lot of hits. All right, right, we're getting into GSOW a little too heavy. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Let's get, yeah. Sorry. Let's get a score. Like but, but I do want to know if uh, Isabella, did you pull up that number? I'm curious. Yeah. Um. Right now, it's at uh, 541.9K. Oh, wow. oh, you just hit your 500,000th a little while ago, too. She sure wow. did. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's 500,000. Out of six-second videos we all saw. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't remember. We might have to watch it again. Oh, like God. It we don't need to see it again tonight. I actually tried to find you on TikTok to follow, and I, and I couldn't. It, it wouldn't, I couldn't search and find it. I don't know why. Um. Okay. So my my handle. It will talk. Put it. Put it in the. Put it in the. Put it in the chat. Yeah, put it in the chat. That'd be great. Okay, okay so let's look just me start. up. I feel so famous now. I'm very curious what these scores are going to be. You're going to see all my other cringy ones. Okay, so um, which one was I on? I was on this one. So we'll You're on the burner that. of trivialists, yes. Okay, so Carmel Tardis Red Bull Socks. 10. Oh, wow. Nice. What? The Cardinal Cinders. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, my team doesn't know it, but we got 10. Because as what? we broke for the room, Ben said, well, just pick something. I said, Yoko. Wikipedia pages Adrian wrote. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> uh, good job, good. sir. Speak softly and carry a big mic. Oh. Oh. Of course. Oh. Some people need to start. Rob, you're on that team. I'm telling you, we didn't get enough to figure out the pattern. If you, it's one of those snowball things, right? If you get yeah. enough, you figure out the pattern, then you know the other ones. Yeah. Right. It didn't happen. Okay. Who uh, are we? Eight. Ooh, nice. Deborah's also on on DSW. A murder of trivialists. It's ten. I think we're nine because we oh, missed. We're 10. Well, we but we, we got the bonus. Did you get the bonus? Yeah, if you get Lady the bonus, Ganges, you get the extra point. And we missed a uh, number six, but we got the we bonus. Get, we got Lady Ganges. Ganges. I That's just not. Didn't... We didn't get it close. It was. It's Ganga. Lady Ganga, and we didn't get that. We said Ganja or Ganges. So. But what was the other one we didn't get then? Uh, the number Del six. Biggie. Number oh, six. Oh yeah, no, that's we right. Insisted right. On Del so we got nine. Oh. Thanks, Susan, who insisted on Del. <laughs> All right, we, we need to do we need to do well in the bonus so that we oh, so that we win so that you win. Better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to Caspian. While I'm getting Caspian queued up, Karen, can you just quickly make a quick mention of what's going on in the news right now that we need to be paying attention to? I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll need to give me more information. We're in California. Are you talking about the recall? We're supposed to be oh. voting. Oh, the voting thing. Craziness. What information are you seeking from me? The, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm missing. To vote. Monday? Vote, vote, vote. Send oh, yeah, okay. Vote. Um, if you're in California, you should have received uh, on or about August 16th, a ballot for the special election, which is taking place now and culminates on September 14th. Uh, there are two questions on the ballot. First question is, shall we recall uh, Governor Gavin Newsom? That would unseat no. him from his office. The <laughs> second question is, should the recall prevail? Which of these uh, replacement candidates do you vote uh, to take the governor's seat? That's the can, can, can we write in a, a, a name? There yes, you can. Process, so there's like little there is boxes. a process for writing candidates. It's a formal process, and the list will be posted online, I believe, on September 2nd. You can't, it, it, uh, uh, just writing in your favorite person will not qualify as a legitimate write in candidate. So we can't write in Susan? Or you can't just write Newsom in? <laughs> you can't write in Newsom. California election law prevents. <laughs> Uh, the object of the the subject of the recall uh -huh. be a write-in candidate. So Newsom is not. There's no way that he can be listed as a replacement candidate. You know, there, there's a I, lot I, of I got the ballot, and this is the stupidest thing that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yes, it is. So then you you didn't exactly see the one for Gray exactly. Davis. Exactly. No, no, <laughs> no. The, the yeah, system. No, no, not it's the so issue, not Newsom, but the system, because he could be voted out of office by getting just slightly less than 50%. Yeah. But the, the replacement could be someone who gets as little as 3%. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. But so that, there's nothing so that's, in California law that prevents that. Uh, there are people, uh, they thought, you know, what happened years ago that uh, with Gray Davis and seating Schwarzenegger was an anomaly. Now people are really realizing the importance of uh, changing the recall law. Things that they're proposing yeah. are uh, no recall uh, if there is a uh, scheduled election within one year. 
also setting a standard for the severity of uh, the reasons why one is being recalled. Simply losing in the election does is not a good reason. This is the sixth. Attempt. This is the sixth attempt. He's been in office a couple of years. The sixth attempt to unseat him. The reason this was successful is because in December, due to COVID, they made an appeal and a, gov uh, a judge ruled that they had additional time to connect collect signatures, not making any uh, use of the information that five times before, without uh, COVID interrupting, they had failed to get enough signatures. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of the dog is running for a replacement candidate, Angeline, the bullet, the billboard queen, and anybody oh, that God. Promote, pay their 200 bucks and get uh, on a na get national or rather uh, statewide recognition. It's is, really, yeah, one of them is on the Real Housewives, so don't vote for her husband. It's really ridiculous. Is <laughs> there anybody, own. is there anybody on that list of replacements that isn't reprehensible? There is no, no one who is qualified. I can't speak to their moral character, but I can tell you with great assurance that there is no one there that is capable of running the fifth largest economy in the world. Well, there's a there's a number well, of there's a number of well, first of all, there's a philosophical question of whether you should put apparently the uh, the Democratic Party's uh, official platform or official opinion is don't put anything for number two. But I think that's bullshit. I think that's we should ridiculous. All put something, that's ridiculous. I think we should all put something for number two. The question is, which candidate should we put for number two? And uh, there's a at, lot of people at least who the are, Democrat. Yeah, well, official. there are a lot of people who are mentioning Ken Faulkner, who was the previous mayor of San Diego, and oh, even I though he is not, a Republican, Robin. I really hope not. Um, the official the official position of the Democratic Party is vote no on number one, live number two blank. That's the I, official. That's that's me speaking as the representative of the Democratic Party. Yes, yeah, I don't like that. Personally, I can tell you a reason not to do that is. Um, you're, you're helping them with a litmus test on what is palatable to the voters of California. Yeah. And you're giving them uh, fodder, uh, even if they lose, which I hope they lose, you're giving them fodder for who they could put up best in the next uh, <laughs> election. So I, uh, I, su I support not voting anyone in the second. And also it creates a distraction and argument amongst people about who <coughs> person should be and gives name recognition to people who may run in June. So I support not putting anyone for number two. As the, uh, a, we we got to prevent Larry Elder from getting in. Is there a minimum? Is there a minimum number of votes? Like if, if there's total, <laughs> no. total uh, nope. a disinterest nope. in the state? Nope. If five people vote, if five people in the state vote on question number two and some idiot gets three votes, they become the governor. No, on question number one. On question number one, if there's total disinterest and a and and a very small percentage, it's only of the, the majority of votes. majority, only the majority of people of that however vote. However many people cast the cast the and that's the rule number that one to change. So <laughs> this is the bonus round then, California. <laughs> <laughs> Name Thank the you, candidates. Karen. Thank You're you, welcome. Karen, because I wasn't clear on the second question myself. So You're now welcome. that I have it. All right. I'm, I am going to put a name for number two. I don't haven't decided yet, but I, I'm going to write something for number two. I'm not leaving it blank. But leaving it blank is just silly. Yeah, I agree. No, I like Karen's philosophy on that. You're helping right. them do you're helping them do major research for the next election. And I would much rather do that than get Elder as governor. Yes. Please encourage all of Everybody your friends to vote, who believe you this is a slam dunk to vote no on number one. That is the most. So if you guys know somebody in California, make sure that they are voting no. on. I don't know anyone question. in California. Oh. <laughs> They're all, all right. here. Caspian. Where are you, Caspian? There's Caspian. Hey, He's we muted. have a brother. California doesn't exist. We all know that. It's just Hollywood. We're going to fall into the ocean if you guys don't vote no on question on number one. <laughs> Caspian? We, Caspian's muted. Do I have power? Yes, you have the power. Ooh. All right. So for your final experiment tonight, uh -oh. um, it is going to be about movies, specifically about Ooh. very bad movies. Uh, Yay. I'm going to give you a list of 20 movies. 10 of those movies were featured at some point 
during the original run of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh, no. <laughs> the other 10 of those movies are completely made up by myself. Yeah. Your job is to tell me which 10 were featured on the show and avoided the 10 that I named. Oh, Dude, for the past two weeks, I've been watching the MST3K channel on Plex. Oh, yeah. That is the list of 20 movies. Um, Self-reliance, how to save your child from communism is one word or one movie and everything else is just one line. So I think that's good. Pretty self-explanatory. Awesome. Everybody, does everybody know what MS3K is? No. Yes. Give a quick. It is a television show that mocks bad movies. Okay. A hilarious <laughs> television it's show. Hilarious. All right. All right, Caspian. This is. This okay. should really separate us, you guys. You've got three right thousand only. Nothing that happened before three thousand. What? What was the? What was the comment about a, a run-on sentence or something? Self-reliance. Uh, Where is that? The next line. The uh, fourth from like the bottom. The fourth line from the bottom. The, yeah. That line and the line after it is one line. Self reliance, how to save your child from communism, that smarts? Right. Every No, that okay. smart starts the next one. It's the only one that's two lines. Okay, it's not two lines. And I pasted it. I pasted it into a text yeah, document. Yeah, it was the same for me. When you, if you highlight it and paste it, it pastes as one line. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. Sure. Good Lord. Mm. Yeah, we do. Do I have to move anybody into rooms? Is everybody there? Okay, so I'm going to Caspian's room, which is who are we? Okay, so I, I watched my parents. After. <laughs> Did you watch the show, Susan? Yeah, I accused my parents as one of the first MS3 shows that we ever saw, Cass saw. So I know that's correct because I showed it to him. I mean, he was I a boy and got him started on this thing. I, okay. get, um... I know it's real. So what one was it? I accused my parents. What? Who? That's what it's called. Wait, my player? The the list. List. Yeah. I don't say anything about parents on here. Yeah, oh, I accuse my parents. Yeah. I accuse my parents. That's a real it's a real movie. Okay. Um, um, I don't remember what it's about, but I know it's real. <laughs> Honest the hands of faith is definitely yes. real. Yes. I, that's a horrible, horrible, <laughs> wonderful movie. Um I don't. What about teenagers from outer space? Mm. Self reliance and how to save your child from communism probably is because I can't imagine him making up that. What about um, Night of the Knife? Pro I. The three I gave you are the three I think I know. <laughs> I think Night of the Knife is one. Earth versus the spider. God, I want to sit and watch these. Um, I, monster cover. I think that might be real. I just don't know. His, I, I, I can't picture him making up fake ones, but I guess he did. Maybe Jamie some did it. Be, some of these actually could be real movies. They just were not no, shown he, on MSNBC. Yeah, he said made up. He said he made them up. How about Monster A Go Go? What about Pot? Okay, Monster A Go Go. I think that's a real one. I Did just don't picture Caspian coming up with monster a go go. It doesn't seem like something you would say. What about or, pot people? No, that sounds too simple. That sounds like something you'd make up. Okay. Based on leather movies or something. Overdrawn at the memory bank also sounds like it's That's real. Data. No, you think so? Yeah. Why? I think Samson versus the vampire women is a real movie. <laughs> That sound, yeah, it does sound. Yeah. Um, Earth versus the spider. That would be. I, I'm, I'm thinking overdrawn at the memory bank. Is, okay, we'll do that. I don't know. You know, maybe he heard maybe that phrase you might somewhere. Be overdrawn at the memory bank. <laughs> what about Hamlet? It's so stupid. It seems like it might be a real movie. I think there may be a version of Hamlet that they made fun of. Jamie, have you ever watched these? 
No, never. I, I don't know any of the answers. I never heard of any of them. There's one of well, my they only, ones yeah, only if you're an MS3K viewer would you have heard there's, of we we did no. one of the really uh, bad movies. Yeah, so there's one like Santa Claus um gets kidnapped by the Martians. Like that's a real movie. I think it is, yeah. These are all like, you know, there's A movies, B movies, C movies. These are like Z. down on the R, X, Y, Z. <laughs> They're really awful. And then they have these, they have these so they show the movie. And there's like three characters that are in the corner of the movie and they're making comments, snarky comments throughout the whole movie. And that's the show is you're watching these awful movies with these people making these hilarious comments. We're going to go with action women from Mars because. And the people I, are making comments are like robots and it looks like they're sitting in a, in a, a movie theater. You can see like the backs of the chairs and, everything. and then this is, you'll have to check it out. Yes, it's, it's, Tom Servo. I forget. Tom the, Servo. Yeah. So there's, there's like a human robot. and three three robots isn't yeah. he supposed to be like traveling on a He's trapped on there and they can only send him bad movies for some reason oh it was some evil person who was sending him bad movies right yeah, yeah it's to entertain important. him as he traveled in this spaceship <laughs> or something <laughs> explaining it to jamie now it really sounds stupid <laughs> like so but really it is funny so you watch this movie and it's just bad acting everything's horrible and somebody does something and it's like you're just making fun of it <laughs> it's old black these are old black and whites probably made from the 40s 50s some of them are in color there's one really there's one that was a baseball one that i just remember when the bat hit the side they said oh it made the ding sound <laughs> I accuse my parents. I can't remember that one, but I, I mean, I remember the name, but I think I remember the song. It was, right, I accuse my one. parents. <laughs> I think medium rare or die is one. Oh, we got. Okay. We have Manos. I accuse my parents. Self. Um, reliant. How to how save your child, from, child from, communism. from communism. That's a Night definite. Night of the Knife, Monster Go Go, Samson versus the Vampire Women, Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, Hamlet, Action Women from Mars, and Medium Rare or Die. Is that 10? Yeah, that's 10. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is like I gotta watch some of these. These I have not yeah, seen. Like, if you've ever watched any movies and you just start making jokes about what the characters are doing because the acting is so bad. Like, have you heard of the movie called The Room? by tommy wiseau is that the one that recently came out it it's about it's a real story based on it's based on the story she, of the woman so james franco actually did a, did a film where james franco acted as tommy wiseau recreating how he filmed this movie like it's so bad that there's one scene where he's holding a water water bottle and going i did not hit her i did not oh hi mark <laughs> You know what? You know what's a really good parody is one of the best things I ever saw, and I think I have it somewhere. Is the Lost Skeleton of Cadaver? Have you seen that? No. If you no. haven't seen it, that is the movie. See, I want to have another party. I can't wait till I can have parties and put it on my big screen. So look it up, the Lost Skeleton of Cadaver. It's made like one of these bad movies, but he's doing it on purpose, and it's mm -hmm. flipping hilarious. It's like here comes the alien, and it's obviously somebody in a suit. Oh. <laughs> we have we have friends that have a blow up outdoor screen because we used to do monthly movie nights, and after COVID, oh. we started again. They got the inflatable screen, so we watched Caddyshack last last time. I forget what the new movie is that we're gonna watch this time, um, but we all sit out in the little camp chairs and. Oh, that'd be fun. Crap. Gosh. We did Jaws. And we, we could were... do that here. We just don't. Deborah, when are you going to have a movie screen out in your back, in your area? We could sh we could show movies when you sit outside on, <laughs> on the big screen, blow up movie thing. Get a laptop, hook up some speakers. That's what we do. Actually, we have speakers, huh, Deborah? <clears throat> My, uh, our group, Monterey County Skeptics, we bought a thousand dollars worth of audio visual equipment and sitting in my and you have a projector yeah and i have a projector now that i think about it yeah i could do it on my i could do it on my street I, i'll just we'll just <laughs> my lawn all my neighbors can come over get a big white sheet or something 
We tried to stream a movie over Zoom at the start. Of oh, you Mark, can't do it. And it was the Beastmaster. <laughs> it's one of, that sounds like one of these movies. No, it's it's awful. It's like <laughs> yeah, it's like these movies. Bad, awful movie. The and it just jerked along, and people were like, "Wait, what? What did he say?" The volume and the no, what? it's it's just bad. Think of like. It's like a knockoff He Man. Like it's just it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> we'll have to have we'll have to have people over. All nice right, funny. Caspian. That was a nice. When are we going to have um uh, uh you and Jamie and maybe Deborah will come over and we'll have um we'll watch some of these. With the, <laughs> this the ones, we did the, show us the worst. I want to. I will accuse my parents. I can't remember the that happening. One. The happening. Cast? Can you read Whatever. it? Well, we have to wait because right now our living room is starting to be piled full of things because we're oh. going to do construction in about the, oh, two weeks. We can, what are you doing construction on now? What's the garage? We're remodeling the garage. So everything has to come out of the garage. Tuesday. You already took have, everything out of the garage. Tuesday, our pod comes to us. We get oh, a pod on Tuesday, and then the construction starts the following Saturday. So Mark, um, so Mark and I have spent the last few days taking things out of the garage. Tomorrow, I'm going to finish a lot of it. So, mm. uh, so right now we're pulling things out that are and just putting them in places. So we look kind of like hoarders now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all those pictures too. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got the I've got the Jerry Andrews project surrounding me too. It's pretty yeah. scary. I don't know, but so I don't know. <laughs> I can't really. I mean, I I our dining room table is okay. So if somebody could, I could sit four people at my table, okay. But the living room, you'd have to put your feet up on boxes and stuff. <laughs> Hi. See you over there. Okay. Finally found you, Isabella. I'm following you. Yay. You have Yay. a lot of you have a lot of videos. Okay, right. while we're waiting, <laughs> while we're waiting for the answers, I'm just gonna uh, throw something out there just from the news. KSBW, our local news station today, has a story, and I've been following the story for a couple of days. A Northern California family of three that had been reported missing was found dead Tuesday along with the family's dog on a hiking trail Jeez. in the remote area of the in a remote area of the no. sierra national forest well did they, and, they have an um, answer well not yet but they're talking about considering it as a hazmat scene they said there was no foul play mm. and everybody was just dead including the family dog Ooh. So yeah, that's not good when i read that the first thing i thought was carbon monoxide that's, that's what yeah. that's what they're saying that's what carbon i think yeah. where trail? would the carbon monoxide come from i guess i guess yeah. it could be in the there car. like in their camper the van car. Or they were in the no. car Oh, oh in a they? car. I thought they were house. walking on a trail and they found him dead in a trail. That's what I thought. It's, it, you can't tell from the headline sometimes, were they all in their camper van with carbon monoxide? Oh, then it's carbon monoxide. That but is anyway, a syndrome. But in the in the comment section, immediately someone puts something missing 411. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Kyle. Oh. Kyle. Kyle's the expert on missing 411. <laughs> They're uh, saying toxic algae may be responsible. What? For what? Maybe they like oh. ate something. Ooh. They oh. ate something. But there was a baby, right? Well, they wouldn't have been feeding things to the baby. And well, the dog? And the were, they the dog. Getting, on you. were they getting water out of a source that was, you know, it, and then well, maybe using the water to, to make a water bottle or something. I didn't know if it was. I, they haven't. I hadn't heard if what the age was. They just said a family of three and the family dog, and they made it sound like they're walking on a trail. Yeah, they, that's they, what it sounded like when they were out. Did they say how long they had been dead? Uh, not very long. They were just reported missing like a twenty-four hours ago. Yeah. Okay. So they were twenty-four. It's a one-year, one-year-old baby. And a dog. And, it's carbon monoxide, I'm sure. Yeah, if they were in the they were in a car. Yeah. No, I think you, you no, got it. they said it they says were in here it could be a carbon monoxide situation. They're thinking they were around um, it could be like a in a little volcanic old, area um, where there was like a whole mining park. operation. They're thinking yeah. it's possible that it could be from either um, toxic algae bloom or from 
um, old mining sites that were nearby where they were found. Mm. So, so maybe some, they they got into some like a pocket of gas or something. So Rob put up the link to the missing 411 guy. Yeah, so so there is no separate there is no separate missing 411 page, but I added a section on this guy's page, David Polides, and it now has over 800,000 views. So wow. Yeah, wow. A lot Kyle. of a lot of the stuff is about Kyle's uh, analysis of him and and all of David's fans keep trying to take it off. And say, Kyle doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, Kyle, we spend quite a bit of time trying to make sure that those pages. Yeah, that it stays. I'll <laughs> bet we get a lot of traffic on my website for missing 411. <laughs> it's missing. Every now and then I'll see the email come in and I'll go, oh, yeah. here's another one. Yeah. <laughs> get emails from the thing. All right, Caspian, well, you're you just got to read the books. No. Right. Oh. Just read the books. It'll prove it. Just read them. Right. I, I, so, so the at the end of the lead says because it's talked about. Polides attributes mysterious, unspecified causes to these disappearances, while data analysis suggests that these disappearances are not statistically mysterious or unexpected. And that's all, Kyle. Yep. From Kyle. Good job, Kyle. Never heard of the guy before Kyle decided he was going to do a thing on him. Anyway, Caspian. Okay. So it looks like. I did not fool most of you. Oh, really? And these are That's the so answers. Earth versus the spider. Yes. Hamlet. Hamlet. Hamlet, specifically a 1960 F. television production for West German television. <sighs> is it in English? Uh, it's dubbed. <laughs> <laughs> it Which is did you say English? dubbed? Not dumb, but dubbed. Uh, Hercules against the moon men. I accuse my parents. My, that's the one that introduced <laughs> Cass into the whole show. <laughs> the most famous probably is Manos, the hands of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The worst is probably Monster a go go. Yep. I what? didn't think you made that up. I didn't think you, I'm oh. like, Caspian wouldn't come up with Monster a go go. Overdrawn the at the memory bank. What? Yeah. Say it again, Cass. Overdrawn at the memory bank. I told oh. you, Cass. Starring Raul Julia. Ooh. Pod people. Pod yes. people. Samson versus the vampire women. Yes. Yay. And teenagers from outer yes. space. Yes. Boom. Good what job, about Carl. The, what about the kids that with Yay. the... Them. That wasn't true. one. You made that up. What I did was I used a random word generator <laughs> and <laughs> words, and then from there I created ten. Oh, that's bland crazy. bunnies. <laughs> well, I have to say, action women from Mars. That's that's a just right there as being a great title for a movie that MST3K would would watch. I thought for sure the communism one would be a, a real one. That's nope. Amazon communist women from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Overdrawn oh. at the memory bank starred Raul Julia. Oh, yeah. made, uh, made the TV thing. It was wow, who would have thought, team? We got the highest score in this of any category. <laughs> you think he did that good? Okay, we'll, we'll find, find out. out. We'll find out. Okay, so how should I start with this? Uh, should. I start with Cardinal Sinners last, I think. <laughs> Let's go from low to high. So who are we? That was one Caspian's group. That was Six. what I was in. Hmm? Six. I'm always tedious. Like I'm like, is that good or bad? Speak softly and carry a big mic. Eight. Nice. Uh murder mm. of trivial trivial trivious. Trivialist. Nine. Nine. Ooh, nine. Nine. Wow. Nine. Who's on that team? Robin, Janine, Jane, Bob, Adrian. I didn't know you guys are MS3 TK. Oh, okay. Bob is. Carmel, Tardis, Red Bull Sox. Seven. Okay. So, Cardinal Sinners, if you didn't, if you, you had to get more than two. Well, 10 is more than two. Yes. Ten. Uh -huh. <laughs> Carl, yeah. Ben, Mike, Gil, and Isabel. Uh, are, like, all I'll, take a, I'll take a win for my birthday. Uh, happy, birthday. 
Yeah. Yes, it is. Really? Happy birthday. Happy oh, birthday. we have to do our happy traditional birthday. birthday. Happy no, birthday. Never works. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Let's see. Happy everyone. birthday. Thank we you. have those Zoom happy birthday songs. Yeah, we have those yeah. Zoom happy birthday songs. <laughs> oh, happy oh birthday. no. Wait a minute, Susan. <laughs> Susan, you Susan, should Susan. Have brought, yeah, I, I brought it wait, up too wait. late. Or it's hey, Richard's going to do something. What? No, no, no. Susan, I'm just saying, we all just would normally start. Why don't you conduct this? We all look at Susan. You conduct this. We'll see if it works better. It will oh, not. Yeah. We don't want it to work good. <laughs> well, wait, I will conduct. Anyway. That. I will conduct. Between the... Count us in and conduct. What's okay. the key? Tuesday. What's the key? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Happiness. B flat Happiness major. Is the okay. Key. Go. Number four, uh, make sure it's really bad. Here's the key. Happy uh, birthday, birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Ben, we're so sorry. <laughs> uh, no, 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 that was great. Thank you. Everybody. See, you see how well that works? But with this rendition, we don't have to worry. That's very also oh, wish you guys were birthday. amazing. That has got to be the best one. Yeah, so that far. was good. Well, that's a low bar. Got to get us banned from Facebook and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you see, YouTube, YouTube, like, YouTube will make us I pay like royalty. Rendition that was yeah, that was that great. That was that. That's got to be public domain by now. <laughs> oh yeah, actually it is. They, I noticed they started singing yeah. in restaurants where they used to sing made-up songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy, happy day to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Mystery Science Theater like they invented a public domain karaoke machine. Yeah. You can oh, sing yeah. songs like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, or the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so this concludes today's uh, event. We have Speak Softly and Carry a Big Stick. Wait, the first was Who Are We with 26, Speak Softly and Carry a Big Stick with 28. Uh, 33 is Carmel, Tardis, Red Bull Socks, followed by a murder of trivialists. And the leader with 41 is a Cardinal Sidners, which had the birthday boy. Mm -hmm. Even though it had a birthday boy. That's awesome. So next Doctor, week, I impressive have, lead too. Next Doctor week, Pilsen. I have Carl. I have Carl next week. Now, if we don't want Carl to do all the categories, <laughs> he's the volunteers. Oh, I have another one ready, Susan. I, I, I can come I up with, like... I got two more categories if you need me to do three. I mean, I've got them too, especially the... You know I'm always ready, Susan. Yell's ready. I actually told Susan I have enough that I can do a whole game if she wants you to guys. take a day off and actually play on a team the whole night. I'm waiting oh, there you for the day where I will do that. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, will wait. it be all Siri all the time, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I promise a bonus. good mix if she lets me do it. I'll, I'll do the bonus. bonus. I'll do okay, the bonus. Robin's got bonus. Susan? Bob? I've got a category I've been working on, and I wasn't going to say anything until I actually got it finished. But I think I need the pressure of a deadline to actually. Okay, make you're it happen. fourth up next week. So you got some pressure. Because yeah, otherwise, so it's it's just going to be Punch and Judy questions again. <laughs> no. Right. no. Yeah, Save us, Bob. It's written in my <laughs> head, but I have to put it down. And I'm going to use uh, pictures and things. So no chickens. I'm going to read up on chickens. Oh, brush brush mm -hmm. up on your chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Not. No, don't worry I about it. I'm team. <laughs> Janine forgot her whole poultry science class. Did we lose Vanessa? Where did Vanessa go? Chicken related, but you don't have to know anything about chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's all oh Kentucky fried. <laughs> so that'll be and August Campbell's. 26. So who did uh, we'll still be in lockdown? It's Carl, Rob, Dale, Bob, and Robin doing bonus. How long is the lockdown scheduled for this time? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we finish we've our extended another month. So, so the end of September. month? Another month, end of September. Yep. New Zealand's in lockdown till mm -hmm. uh, the 24th. Well, uh, I'm not surprised because, uh, as we all know, Delta is not what we had last year. 
This is yeah. So and one had disease. eight well, cases, I think, in Wellington and uh, several in Auckland. Mm. What, what percent of the population the so far is freaky. vaccinated, Richard? Uh, I'd have to look that up. I don't know. Not enough. I, yeah. I, I think half of, take all, it half, as seriously as Australia is. Half, half of all eligible adults have at least had one shot in this state. It's oh, just okay. not, enough yet. not enough yet. So from, from data here, uh, one vaccination is not real effective against Delta. That's no, a, that's, like that's why, that's why there's a huge yeah. dry, vaccination drive on now, which should have been six months ago. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't understand why it's so slow. Marie said New Zealand is like 21% vaccinated. What part of the problem was that Australia was doing and New Zealand were doing so well for such a long time that the government said, that, yeah, it's all right. We'll just do it nice and steady uh, and easy. Uh, and in hindsight, it was the worst decision they made. Right. And both both New Zealand and Australia did that? I can't speak for New Zealand, but certainly here in Australia, the attitude was just wait. We're not in a race. We'll just get it done. You know, we're, we're, we're practically free. There's no COVID here. And that all changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm putting and it's up, changing uh, here, too, okay. because, you know, it's, it's insane. Um, the Delta is just taking over and zapping everybody that hasn't been vac vaccinated. Taking over the schools in Mississippi and they're trying to tell they people it's not going to happen anywhere else. Students were quarantined right. in Mississippi. Third shot boosters coming in September. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm due okay. in December. Good September. night all. I'm going to have to leave. I have to go call my parents. All right. Oh, uh, good luck with everything. Bye. 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 But they're already okay. starting to reset. Go get that stun gun. Bye. <laughs> I, I, have, I, I have an idea. I have an idea for a trivia round that I'd like to throw at you guys. Like, have the team, it's like reverse trivia. So have the teams have to do a magic trick. So you go to your room and everybody has to decide on one simple magic trick to try to stump one particular person, like say Mark. If you could guess how it goes. And then, you know what I mean? So have some, some reverse trivia so we can all do something as a team to try to stump an individual who claims to be an expert at something. You I don't know think what I mean? you can do that quickly. No, no offense, it would have to be like three that. questions yeah. instead of 10. It doesn't that, sound like that'd trivia. That would be kind of tough. No. No. Like they have a show It'd called The Beast. Have you seen that one? The Beast, that's what they do there. They have one guy who's an expert at trivia and the team tries to stump him. By doing a magic trick? No, no, that's okay, just that one like category. Bob wins. It's just I, one that category. Was I was just thinking of that. Was a question. Asking a question is different than doing a no, trick. No, when you would ask a hey, question Kevin, about. I got your nose. If, like, say, <laughs> for, for, you, for, for you, Karen, someone would have to name um, a number one Beatles song that you can't identify. You know, like if they come up with the lyrics. Okay, so that sounds like reverse trivia. The magic That's what I mean. Reverse, like trivia. reverse trivia. They do there's a show called The Beast where they do that. It's pretty cool. Nice. I don't see we'd be able to do that quickly. Doesn't sound like trivia. No, it's not quick enough. That's the problem. Mm, yeah. Just a thought. Mm. Well, you guys have come up with some clever thoughts in the past, so I'm not going to shoot anything down because you guys get. Well, I didn't clever. think the mono the mono's idea of answering was going to be good until we did it. Then yeah, I thought it was I like great. Mono. It was really good. I thought it was fantastic. My oh, first opinion was, "No, nah, this can't at? work." Rob, what? Then it worked easy. Yeah, yeah. As I, I put this on my. I, I just cannot believe this. Uh, so this was on CBS News. Um, wait, did I hit? Uh, uh, I don't think I don't think I hit. Sound. I don't think I said here the sound. Share sound. Share sound. It's only 19 seconds. Left. Area, you know. Despite transporting COVID positive patients weekly, Medic Brittany Davis. Oh, yeah, it's just that. I saw this. Yeah, her. Yeah, I saw that video. Well, you're going to have to tell us what it says because I can't hear anything. I can't hear it. Yeah. Oh, really? God, yeah. protect it's not loud enough. God, just tell us what he said, Rob. US. Oh, my God. All right. It says, it, it's they're, they're interviewing. Why oh, is this not working? No, Just tell us. Oh. Tell us. All right, she's a medic. 
and she's transporting COVID patients. And he's saying, how come you're not vaccinated? And she says, me and my family are very religious. I'm relying on God. Then why are you in that profession? Oh my God! Seriously, fired. I don't. I don't want any because medics she putting be me needed. in an ambulance who's breathing. Does on she me. eat food? Well, if you have to be in a in a in a ambulance, Robin, you get in the ambulance. You don't get. Oh to take sure, I'm, I'm vaccinated, so I'm good. But uh, but I don't. I, I still don't face... want an unvaccinated person in my face. Hmm. Right. I got a Facebook request from one of our firefighters. She's at a different station now, and her little frame around her picture says, "Take the masks off." Yeah, oh my God. she's a paramedic. Too bad, so sad. People insist. I was thinking about going to the 